Hey everybody, I'm Jason. I'm Troy. I'm Dale. And this is the Squared Circle Podcast, where we're going to be doing a WrestleMania predictions show, Woo! followed by our favorite WrestleMania moments, and then you'll get another video from us about our top wrestlers and all that kinds of you stuff. You know WrestleMania is the ultimate thrill ride this year? It is. It's a that set with the roller coaster is absolutely Just amazing. Just like Jimmy Fallon, he's got a new ride too. Does he? Yeah. You haven't seen those commercials? I got my tight pants. I got a new ride in Orlando or something. Really? I'm so just surprised. Terrible. I'm just surprised you saw a commercial. Because anytime I'm like, it's hey, on the radio too. Anytime I see a commercial, Dale's like, I don't see a commercial. <laughs> if you met his dad, you'd know. Yeah. He, he records everything. Like Jimmy Fallon or something. What's going we on? could be. Hey, give us money. He, another thing he hates. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. He hates everything good. Jimmy Who Fallon's not good. I'm surprised he doesn't hate tits. No, I should like. <laughs> I should like the show because I like a lot of like the little like the games the and stuff he plays. But it's just like. He's not entertaining. The people that are on a show are. He, he's exactly who we would be if we were famous. Because yep. we'd make friends of all the famous people and we'd be fangirls. And people, I would understand if they didn't like me. I'd be like, I don't like that guy. And like, like Roman Reigns. Yeah. I'd be friends with that man. I would be friends with Roman Reigns. You too. like that segue? Roman yeah. Reigns. Yeah, I would be friends with Roman Reigns. I wouldn't be enemies because he'd kick the shit out of Absolutely. me. So and he'd his whole family. Yeah. I don't fuck with that. Then he would jack off his forearm and hit me with it. Vince McMahon loves that. Speaking of jack-offs. <laughs> we're going to start talking about WrestleMania. We're going to talk about WrestleMania. So the Raw and SmackDown that came before WrestleMania were pretty much just filler, just kind of giving you a... Bunch um, of bullshit. Pretty much just kind of wrapping bows on Yeah, the kind of pretty lines. much giving you what's going to happen. But it's like the episode before the season finale. Yeah. But generally are... Typically, how many matches are in a Raw or SmackDown show? Uh, I'd say about five. Five. And, and there want two apiece. Well, 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 the ones that we saw. We watched, well, we watched the abridged right. version, yes, which was an hour and a half, and there was only two matches, and it was 90% of segments, which pisses me off because you're going to make an abridged version, cut the promos, yeah. I want to see wrestling. I'm watching wrestling to watch wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. You do, I understand people might need the build up, but if you, wrestling is not one of those things. I watched wrestling for almost my entire life. I stopped wrestling, watched wrestling for about eight years, just got back into it last year. It still took me a few months of watching wrestling to kind of get a feel of the stories. So the Raw thing, them doing these promos and stuff, if they're doing it for kind of catching people up, you're not going to catch people up. I'm because totally you're, lost. For yeah, because you we saw some of the promos and you're still like, what's going on? Because well, it takes you a while to... What's good, at least about WrestleMania, is the video packages before the matches. Right, so you don't even need that up. Raw. Like Creed. Yeah, but right. those were some of the like best the promos. Band. Yeah, yeah. What what was the with our not with arms wide open? Um, uh, the one they did for I like had sacrifice. I don't know. You don't remember those? They did it during was, the invasion. Like yeah. everybody had a Creed package. Oh no, I remember yeah, the, had the best only two video packages I remember is I remember Rock Austin uh, My Way by Limp Bizkit. Uh, right, and then um, a beautiful day with U two by the triple the Triple H one. Was really? Had, yeah. Oh, you don't remember the, the invasion? Creed, ones? Because no. the first time he tore his. Uh, Whatever it is. Yeah, when he tore the muscle off the bone. We, 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 his leg went bad. Yeah. yeah we tore yeah. the muscle off the bone. Like yeah. right before we came back. Great tag match. And yeah. then yeah. he still took the walls of Jericho after that. Yeah. Oh, God. We can't talk about that tag you match. You can yeah. see the... Yo, because Ben wasn't it. Yeah. That's right. Great match, though. Yeah. It never happened. No. It didn't. Nope. No, it did not. <laughs> Which is a shame. Right. But, um... um so, we're going... So, the Raw SmackDown, you know, had its moments. The, the uh, Luke Harper in... Bray Wyatt match was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sister Abigail happened way too fast. Yeah. It looked like it hurt. It looked like a blue um, it. They did. Uh, Naomi came back, um, so she's going to be a part of the. That's your first experience in Naomi, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. and she's That's she's one of my sick. favorite. Re- when she, I love wait, her. Wait, is she the one that you showed me before with the glowing contacts in? She, no, that's, that's Ember Moon. Ember Moon. Oh, because I like her. Because they're both black. Wow. I know. <laughs> Ember Moon is Ember Don't Moon's, dig me a hole on that you try to yeah, yeah, know what to say on that one. No, Ember, Ember Moon has the uh she's the one that does the which he doesn't think is that great. I don't know. Like that she does like the corkscrew stunner from the top rope. It's incredible. It's still too contrived for me. It's Shut like your a fucking mouth. Work machine. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You watch current wrestling, everything they do. Buckle bomb! I'm gonna immediately pick you up and then do another no, movie. No, like, that no. was like at the Listen, Rumble. Nobody sells anything anymore. Yeah, that's covered for a different day. Wasn't so. it Roman Reigns that went, you got choke slammed through the table? Oh, yeah. The Rumble, and, and then the he immediately buckles. got back. That's, no, somebody. He just, no, Roman Reigns got choke slammed on the yeah. table. He got put back in the ring, and, and then, then he's on the offensive. Well, yeah, but no, what Kevin Owens does is he does like four moves in a row, but they're like a power bomb into the apron. A running senton. And then, yeah, and then he picks you up, and I'm like, you pick that guy up after you power bombed him in the apron. Yeah. 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 
right now. Right. But the thing about the Roman Reigns thing is he came in for the Rumble after being murdered. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, he was number 30, so yeah. he had a long time to recover. But, but we'll talk about selling and psychology. Right. In a different okay, so the, the two <laughs> the two shows, if you didn't see them, they pretty much just wrap everything up. Naomi yeah. came back. She's a part of the scramble for the SmackDown Women's Champion. The uh, Raw Tag Team titles are now a triple threat ladder match, which should be cool. Right. Um, other than that, I don't really care Tag Team match. Championship is a... Triple threat ladder Triple match. Triple threat. Enzo Cass, Three teams. Three teams. Carl okay. Anderson, Luke Gallows, and Cesaro Sheamus. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. I, and, and if you want to talk about the big, one of the biggest surprises ever for me is how great Cesaro and Sheamus are as a tag they're, team. They're so... Because Sheamus is so just... Smash mouth. Yeah, but he's kind of like... He's kind of boring. Milk like toast. Yeah, right. He's as white as his, his, his blame as his skin. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He's... Okay. Yeah. The only person Great more generic life. than him is Randy Orton. Wow. So, <laughs> I'm the Viper. That's my brother talking about. I'm the Viper. Your brother's Corey Graves. Well, well, well. Um, Viper was in fucking Game of Thrones. He right. His eyes fucking pushed Yeah, away. and that's like a whole, that's like a family too, and they're they're awesome. Anyway. Um, yeah. I've never seen Game of Thrones. That's not true. Get the hell out. Half the first season. Get the hell out. I don't like it. The first season is not great. Season. And oh, that, okay. I know, yeah. and it's one of those cliches, but it, after yeah, the like first the season, there's not so many just dicks and... Boobs everywhere. Is it like Walking Dead we have to get past? Because I couldn't go on. You gotta get past season two of The Walking Dead. I. That's too yes. much. No, the first season's pretty good. The second only season. Six episodes the first season. Yeah, okay, the yes. second season is. But anyway. Um, <laughs> but so, but Cesaro and Sheamus, like those shows, got better. Okay. The Their first season was those seven matches. Right. The seventh match being great. Yeah. In the ending, I could have kind of went either way with. And then they got screwed out of their title shot. Well, I hate Came the a tag team. That they teamed up. Right, it was stupid, it was stupid, but they became a fantastic a team. They won tag titles, then they lost them. Right, and they've been a they've been tag team for Since like eight SummerSlam. yeah, for like so. eight months or so, which is crazy. That's been that long. Um, so the I'm not sure on the exact match order you we'll said. Start that with the order that says here. So what I have on uh, CBS Sports is the first match is going to be the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Three uh, men. There's three oh, matches in. in the kickoff show, two of which I. Do not agree with, yeah. um, especially that women's match because there's a women's title match for Raw on the main we show. Know Raw's always better. The bigger point. brand, even though it seems like people like SmackDown more now. It's, it's That's better. all I hear about yeah. SmackDown. It's a good it. show. Yeah. Um, so the first one's got the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, and I. Right. This is the fourth annual. First one takes place at WrestleMania 30. Um. I think so. Yeah, it said WrestleMania 30 yeah. on that one. So I just want to see who's in it for. Th I'm gonna see if I can get a list for the 33. Uh, yeah, nobody that important. <laughs> All 30 names. There's like three it's gonna people be a video because yeah. I don't want to watch a video of this. I just want you to give me a list. Uh, oh, wait, there. Oh, up, 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 fucking up. I think they have right here. Yeah. Andre the Giant Battle Memorial. Uh, Andre <laughs> the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I hate that name. I know. Uh, is Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn, Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, Apollo Crews, Jay, and Jimmy Uso, which just could be the same guy, uh, Chad Gable, and Jason Jordan, really? Yeah, former oh tag Oh, my James. God. Uh, Mark Henry, Titus O'Neil, Goldust, R-Truth, Curtis Axel, Primo, Epico, Bo Dallas, or Bo Wyatt, I'm hoping, um, Jinder Mahal, which is... Sure. Rhino, Heath Slater, Mojo Rawley, Kurt Hawkins, Tyler Breeze, Fandango, Simon Gott, Shane English, Kalisto, Victor, Connor, and Sin Cara. I know maybe 10 of those. Things. Yeah. So, so it's going to come down to either <clears throat> the first three mentioned, Big Show, Sam Zander, Braun Strowman. Yeah. And I believe that it's probably the only, okay, I think it's going to be Braun Strowman. The only reason I think it might be the Big Show is to kind of make up for the fact that Shaq screwed him out of that match. Right. That they couldn't come to terms, and then Shaq's got his like own podcast now Shaq's too. Of course, yeah, he's got a podcast and shit. Um, but, but I don't want to listen to Shaq talk. It's shit, yeah. Oh, I'm Shaq shit. Yeah, it's it's hard shit. To hear him talk about fucking icy Steel. hot or bad yeah, or anything. Whatever. Yeah, basketball. You're like, <laughs> you played that sport, yeah, but they couldn't. So the story really is that they couldn't come to a financial agreement. Either yeah. WWE just probably didn't want to pay him what he wanted because yeah. he doesn't deserve it. No, no. So I think. It's Stroman. gonna be Braun Strowman. I think Strowman's gonna win. I Stroman? think it'll come down to Strowman and Sami Zayn, and Sami will try and rally up, but it'll be Strowman. I can see it because yeah. you know he was doing so well feuding with Roman Reigns and starting some shit with the Undertaker. That was in the kickoff fucking battle royal. Yeah, yeah, and the kickoff on, show man. that should be interesting. I mean, or kickoff. I mean, we're all gonna watch the kickoff show anyway, so who really cares what's yeah. on it? 
Yeah, so there's three but, matches for the kickoffs. What about you? Who do you got? I'd like to see the Big Show win. The Big Show. Uh, just considering, you know, he's in the best shape of, that he's ever been in. Ever been in. His career. For that, and it's his last WrestleMania. I mean, yeah. I'm nostalgia whore, but like you said, he's going out. Why not? He's done in January? The, Supposedly, I yeah. Think it's, big well, but if you see some of the stuff he's done, like interviews... He's, he's pretty, he's pretty much like, because I saw one from a few years ago, and he's like, I got like two and a half years on my contract, and when that's up, he's like, that's it for me. He's pretty, I mean, well, he's got to think the guy's like 93, 93 or 94. His yeah. very first match, he, he won, won the world. WCW World Cup. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. He wow. was billed as Andre the Giant's son. He was a giant. So he had to fight the giant again, wow. and he beat him. He was that's the newest awesome. member of the Dungeon of Doom. Yep. yep. Which is the worst the fucking thing ever. They had like the sea monster, which I... The Yeti. Yeah, but the sea... The in the... In the boat typhoon. Yeah, but the sea monster. I don't remember the sea monster. From the... From the... Oh, the, the sea South creature. Paw, oh, the sea creature. God, yes. <laughs> the sea creature is my creature from the sea. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, I have Braun Strowman. You I have, have the sea creature. You have the sea creature, and he <laughs> has Big Show. So the next match, uh, which kind of pisses me off because I was really looking forward to it, is the uh, oh, those things bother you? Huh? Stop. <laughs> He's like, God, it bothers him. Um, anyway, so the next kickoff is a six pack challenge for the SmackDown Women's Title with the newly returned Naomi, which I'm really excited because it's her hometown, yeah. and I, I really wanted to have her WrestleMania yeah, moment. Entrance live, so I'm pretty Molly sure. Pop Molly. Yep, so. <laughs> that's what it's like. Um. So it's Naomi, Mickey James, Carmella, Natalia, Becky Lynch, and the champion Alexa Bliss. Um, I, I think Naomi's gonna win it. I would. My original thought was either I. I don't know. I kind of thought maybe Mickey James just because veteran. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she's she, she, she the veterans was, are always there. For people. Right, yeah. right, right. Unless you're Chris Jericho at last WrestleMania. Um, but <laughs> well, that's not a hero. It was a great match, though. It was fantastic. So. Um, but I am going to go with Naomi. Me too. I don't know half of, more than half of those. Well, you saw them all in that match. Yeah, that's true. They were all in that match. So Becky Lynch is the Irish yeah, chick. Like that Carmel's Alexa Bliss is... One. Uh, yeah, Carmel's the one you didn't like. Right. The Jersey chick. Alexa yeah. Bliss is the short one with a nice butt. And the yeah. flanks. This is a SmackDown match. Naomi. Well, we just fought. Yeah, yeah, with the so short... what about the... Black chick with the green hair. Naomi. Naomi. Going with that one. There you that's go. that's who I picked. Cool. Um, so <laughs> I think I think it's gonna be Naomi, which would be really cool because they kind of ruined her WrestleMania moment at the last pay per view by giving her the championship. I think that was that, stupid. Well, I heard they want her to walk into Mania, her hometown title. Right, and you know how Vince McMahon is. He uh, loves the hometown heroes to lose. She's from Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And he loves hometown heroes she losing. Dance like the Berlin Except Magic for Art. He doesn't like Bernard. Well, yeah, hometown hero lost. Yeah. yeah. He lost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hometown hero lost in that one. He does it all the time. Charlotte lost in Charlotte. And she lost the title. Sasha lost in Boston. Yep. Their titles. Charlotte he lost in Charlotte. Hometown heroes. Yes. He does. Um, next Unless match. He's a rock. He's a rock and do what he wants. Right. The next match is one I'm really looking forward to. I've My never aunt. really, yeah. I've never really been an Austin Aries fan. Even I've when he was like an Aries. indie darling, you know, he's one of the big indie darlings that he's like an old. He's old a veteran indie guy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's fighting Evil Neville, and um, you know he's evil because he has a beard, and he looks like Gollum. Well, yeah, I was gonna say he definitely looks like he could be an orc or yeah. kind of goblin. Well, there's a remember the I think the last time you were here we watched the show, and a guy had a Neville thing, and it's, it had Gollum right, on it, and it's in my precious, <laughs> and it has the cruiserweight title. Oh so this is gonna be for the WWE cruiserweight title. It's another pre-show match. These are the three pre-show matches. Another one I think should not be on the pre-show. Yeah. Um, and it's got Neville and Austin Aries. Neville's an incredible bad guy. I don't really know where they're going with Austin Aries he because he looks evil. You can't make him a face. Right. <laughs> he, he was. He was. He was. Was. He he was. And I don't understand. Yeah, but he looks like. But he. But evil he's also I'm evil Neville. <laughs> yeah, he literally just came out with. Yeah, that guy's mean. Yeah, I don't like him. Um, God. He single handedly saved the cruiserweight division. Right. Him becoming the champion because it was dead. It, that, was, it was dead after yeah. the cruiserweight. Uh, oh, the cruiserweight classic itself was, was incredible because it literally. Seen you can still watch it. Yeah, literally, right. they literally get every single. From they have the world. They have guys that are young, young like twenty-two year old guys from Hong Kong. I probably would have geeked out in WCW. Tajiri's in it. Never yeah. mind. Yeah, <laughs> Tajiri's in it. Tajiri's in it. And Brian Kendrick. Yeah. Brian, yeah, Spanky. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's really good. He's I used really to hate him. Oh, he yeah. became a fantastic bad guy. Did they do the cruiserweight thing? 
but it's cool because they bring in a lot of guys from all over the world. Well, signed in the company. Yeah, they're just and a lot of them didn't sign. They yeah, like Zach Saber. Did they bring like, out Ultimo? Do they, they bring out like? Uh, it's a lot of newer movies. guys. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of indie dudes, which is cool <laughs> because <laughs> it's cool because they. WWE's branching out, yeah. and they're not making them sign contracts. Yeah. Only a few of them came over. A lot I of basically feel like I've seen it. We've seen parts of it. It's but I was probably drunk. No, it's, it. no, we didn't watch the whole tournament because it's it's like it's like ten weeks. Yeah, it's a okay. long. Yeah, it's, good. it's like thirty-two guys or something like that. thirty-two it's, guys in elimination. It's ridiculous, but it's cool because they get guys they went like all through last summer. Yeah. Like What's the, the Japanese dude. You, you did you hear it? No, the the current one just came from uh, NXT. Oh, Nakamura. Nakamura. Nakamura's the one who fought Sami Zayn, I showed That's you. the match I saw that was building up to that, I think? No, it was the... That was... No, that was... The Sami Zayn match was Nakamura's first one. The I one that... the PG era of... Yeah. Well, oh, so Nakamura stuff. came from New Japan. That's right. the one they chanted, holy shit, during his Just entrance. The entrance yeah. <laughs> um, but awesome. no, they got, like, everybody and their mother. It was really cool, because they got guys that created wrestling in their country. Like the Ho Ho Lun in China. China. Hong Kong does not have wrestling. He created his own promotion. The city with the biggest population in the world yes. doesn't has, have wrestling. Nope. They do not have a wrestling. <laughs> he created it. He's young. He's wow. younger he's like, than we are. Oh, yeah. He's like 22. That yeah. That, that Chinese would be There's, extremely into it, disciplined yeah. about it. No. Nah, so, apparently, it's not a thing there. Wow. There's another country. It was like, uh, like, who was that one dude? It was another guy. It was a really young guy. It was like, Chili or something? Yeah, Chili. Right. I can't remember the guy, but he they didn't even have ring ropes. They just wrestled like mats. Yeah, the, a lot of like these guys. Did, yeah, a lot of these. <laughs> a lot of these. Guys, yeah, but they were literally like creating wrestling in their right. country. The only difference is uh, back when we didn't have ropes, we throw each other off the ropes and we would just bounce off of imaginary Air. nothing and we'd just come right back, yep. laying on the mattress. I mean, there it was go. literal backyard because it was in my dad's backyard. Yeah, so it was like country. Backyard. <laughs> right, yes. but it's cool because some of these guys invented it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. so it, that really helped the cruiserweight thing, and then they kind of went to it. Kind of went to shit where uh, they just they kind of rotated run. like two or three minute matches. Nobody really cared. Nobody got any. It was like, like Boba Fett. They yeah. treated them like Boba Fett, and you're like, well, we don't get exposure, so why do we love these guys? Right. Except they love Boba Fett, which makes no sense because he got no exposure. Right. But with the, fail. the cruiserweight thing was cool because they would change all the lights, all the ring ropes would be purple. See, I, like that. See, I think uh, it's I love it. Them. Yeah, it, it probably takes a lot longer to get between matches. Well, now, they just do like little segments. Because they're backstage promos, and, right. stuff, and then they forever. it's like five or ten minutes. Boom, they do yeah. it. Because I mean, they're they're they've done this. Yeah, they're I think they're like the SmackDown uh, pay per view ring. It's really colorful. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. See, I like how they, I like the posts. I like how they have that, that uh, the LED monitor or the screen. I the giant the screen. Skirt. Through that. Yeah. Cool. Well, they kind of did it with uh, at the last paper. Do you remember Dolph Ziggler like threw Kalisto oh, or yeah, Bear Corp or whatever, and it, like they fucked up TV yeah. Elson or whatever, and then you could tell they changed the panels. But anyway, so Austin Aries, Neville. I got Austin Aries. I got Neville. He's the king of the cruiserweights. Yeah, you don't I, think Austin? It's like his debut. I don't think I don't think they'll let Austin. I don't think Austin will win it his first time around. Yeah, I think Neville will keep going. So you don't? Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna go with Neville. I think that's who I'm. Neville. Gonna pick yeah. Neville. Yeah. See, I'm only picking Austin Aries because I I don't want him to win, but I just think the way that's kind of been built is maybe he'll. But Neville's doing so good. Yeah. So keep it Austin. He's so good, well, and well, Austin Aries is literally just an older Neville who's a bad guy. Too. You know, because you don't really root for him. He he does his little things and he tries to be funny. And I guess the crowd likes him because yeah. he's an old indie guy. He's not Neville. He's like the he's like Chris Daniels. He's right. like the one they didn't get, but then they you know they, they got, got him. him. Right. He's not well, I say keep Daniels, him, keep the title on Neville. Uh, have him hold it for like eight years. Well, when he was in TNA, you remember shouting super shouting super, super curry, curry man. man. Yep. We oh, shouted. He gave us evil eyes. Oh, my sure. favorite, oh, my my favorite chant we ever did was Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash came out. We all chanted Super Shredder, and he, he looked right at us. He's wearing goes, a Red Wings jersey. Yep. He looks right at us. He goes, "You guys must be the regulars," because <laughs> we were there all the time. So right when he came out, Super Shredder. Oh, That's one of my bullet points. We were, and there was a lot of top, top ten favorite wrestlers. I'm not gonna lie, Kevin Nash is on the list. We were, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were, uh, we were a huge <laughs> part of the. You know, oh, we were marks before marks. You know, I hate before. That well, it's because well, we, now it doesn't mean it. Well, Every research to knowing the outcome right, or yeah. expecting like Yeah, I, I don't your power level is eight thousand, your power level is two. Right. <laughs> you should not win. Yeah, we didn't we didn't research it like I kinda do now where I watch like all the shows. Or like you have podcasts like this, so yeah. you can pretty much the information is 
marks don't mean anything now because it's not everybody's a mark. Everybody knows everything now, so it's not really readily available. Right. But when we were younger, you didn't have that. Right. You were yeah. like, even when you, you did, I don't want to know. Or exactly. you still <laughs> might not believe it because you're like, like well, right. I mean, could he? But now all the rumors from me out turn out to be right. So it's like, yeah. And right. then you got, and then you got all these shows and everything, and everybody's just constantly giving you news. Dave Meltzer can't keep his fucking mouth shut, so he tells everybody everything. I know it's his job because he's a journalist, yeah. but when he's got a guy on the inside, he's literally like, hey, I know what the match is going to be for this and this and this. And you're like, well, that kind of kills it. Well, it it's, what's it's the bill? Tony Schiavone giving away oh, yeah. Mick Foley. Raw results, their, yeah. And then, that match, and then yeah. that's what... The same night as the finger poker. That was kind of the start of the end because yeah. everybody tuned in to see if it happened. Yeah. And it oh, did. Mick Foley's going to win the title? Really? Really? Click. Click. Hello. Hello. <laughs> right. And then it also helped that Stone Cold came out to one of the loudest oh, pops yeah. I've ever yeah. heard in history. It's yeah. insane. Um, so back to cruiser could, are these in there? I don't think there are. We'll talk. These about are it. these are different order, but we'll, we'll talk just talk about, about them as as yeah. as we go. So we'll That's go. Fine. So the next match that we're gonna have is Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, who are the Raw Tag Team Champions, right. versus Enzo Mori and Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus in a Tag Team Title Championship match that is a triple threat ladder, ladder match. match. Um, Which rumor has it? Uh, this is the match that happens. In fact, rumor has it the Hardy Boys are coming back. That would be a match. When if not if. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. they just made it a ladder, a ladder match. match which so that pretty on the nose. Yeah. So <laughs> it become it could become like a, a fatal four way. Because right. the New Day might come out and announce one extra team. Right, because the New Day is not involved in this pay per view yeah, because course. they're hosting it, which it's I think is just stupid. a complete waste of your talent that you use. Yeah. I'm not a New Day fan, but well, get some like the booties. that's funny, but when they do the segments <laughs> I immediately skip them because it's just it's like it's, it's like they're, kitty. They're, it's they're so, water. Right, but it's and it's so like kitty that it's just well, yeah. it's yeah. It's, I understand they're fans well, are generally I kids, so you have to kinda of, you guess what, you know your demographic, right? Yeah. But um Blacks. well there is <laughs> Yes. Um I'm glad I'm not <laughs> Oh, that totally <laughs> just threw me off. I wanted to say Booker T yeah, yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I hope it picked up that high five. I was not a part of that high five. Um and he was, you don't know. Yeah. And you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. Marcus and Robert just high five. I'm Super Paul. <laughs> um, but anyway, anyway. Um, if it becomes a Fatal 4 that'd be really cool. Yeah. Um, but if I, they don't, I think Gallows and Anderson. Yeah, I actually think it's going to be Enzo and Big Cass's moment. Really? I think they're going to finally get their, their really title gets. win. I just like Enzo. They're kind of really getting, great, yeah. Yeah, see, I like Enzo and Cass too, but they're becoming – people are turning against them. Yeah. Like – uh, somebody was beating up Enzo, I think. And the, oh, Seamus was. And the crowd, the crowd was, was saying, thank you, Seamus. They kicked him right in the face. He's like, thank you, Seamus. Yep. Yeah. And I'm right. like, wow, they're turned. Well, because they, they haven't won the titles. They're kind of assholes. Isn't Seamus a heel, too? No, Seamus and Cesaro are like... Well, Seamus, is a, Seamus was a heel. Cesaro was a baby face. They teamed together, and it's kind of a... It's kind of like, you're like, you're, yeah, you teamed up with... So... so like so he's, he's Sheamus, a famous proxy. Nah, right. Gotcha. So Sheamus will put his arms up and the crowd will boom. And then Cesaro will go and run into the crowd and go, no and they'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so, so like, <laughs> Sheamus isn't a bad guy. He's just kind of no-nonsense. Yeah, he's, he's, he's less just, liked than Cesaro, but he's not. Right. Cesaro's all about okay. fun and let's make the crowd have a good time. Sheamus, Sheamus is like, let's win the match yeah. and I'm going to beat the fuck out of yeah. you. And, but, they, but they have a great connection. They're, they're the new APA. That's yeah, how I yeah, see pretty much. They're the new APA, except for one of them is fun. You know, so Bradshaw was fun. <laughs> well, he was fun, but he's also well, a dick. He wasn't fun. There wow, it there it is. There it is. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! He met Booker T and Goldust. Uh, it's a totally different. Love team. that tag team. Though. They were they were another one of those teams like, like so McFoley. Right, right. They're another sock. Right. They're another one team. Had fun. One was business. Right. Right. And then they're another one of those teams that you don't expect. <laughs> oh my God! It's one of those teams you don't expect to become great. The Golden Truth. And they. Well, I know, that's okay. Okay, no, anyway. no, because they're still a team, and I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> I think Booker T's on the he's doing the kickoff show, right? I think so. With Shawn Michaels, uh, with Shawn Michaels, which is awesome. Anyway, who's your pick for this match? My pick for this match is Enzo and Cass. Big money. I'm big money. Yeah, yes. Sure. Who's oh, your sweet. pick? Uh, big Cass and, uh, and Enzo. Yeah. And then uh, you I'll, say I'll, that. Nobody hates Gallows and Anderson though. I they know. took them so long to get those titles after making them look like shit. I know. And it, it really killed the momentum. Right. They should have never split them up from AJ Styles. They should have always. They should have turned them funny. When they did that stuff the with the new day, stuff. yeah, I literally they almost killed them. I know. They were like, "We hate you." 
Let's give you a stupid joke. Yeah. Um, so you got yeah. Gallows and Anderson, and yeah. uh, Dale and I I'm have Enzo. Gonna, and I'm probably going to be wrong, but... I I, I kind of want the Hardys to be in it, but I don't because they're going to have to win. I if would go with the Hardys if they were in oh, it. Of course. But they have to win, and I don't want that. I think that's shit. To, that's shit. Yeah, on. that's shitting on the people who have been in the company right. working their way up for a while. And WWE does, though. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. And the Hardys are actually defending the ROH tag titles the night, the before. night before against the Young Bucks. And so they're giving it up. They're going to be defending it in a ladder match. Right, right. So they're <laughs> so. two ladder matches. So they're going to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, know. if they which, show up. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm kind of just hoping they. And even if they do show up, that doesn't even guarantee that they're going to be in the match. That's either. true. They right. can show up after the match. And then challenge the. Yeah. So right. if it is Gallows and Anderson, it makes it more makes sense, sense because then the Hardys are going to be super over. Right. And then it would. Yeah. And then if you have them. But it also is another way to bury Enzo and Cass if they win. If the Hardys come out, you're just like, well, they're done. <laughs> oh, they're breaking up, and Big Cass is going to come the champion soon. Oh, Bet you the next year he's the champion. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a singles champion because I hope they don't because Vince McMahon likes big, up, sweaty men. They should stay together, but Enzo should become his manager. So, like, be like his height man. Like yeah, yeah. Donald? You mm-hmm. know. Does he like to be peed on like his friend Donald? Maybe. He likes right. big, sweaty men. Yeah, yeah, he, he might yeah, be. He's a billionaire. I mean, he's, he's, he's a bit. He's a billionaire. So I mean, if somebody wants to pee on him, I guess he's. I'll pee he's on a billionaire. So yeah, right. <laughs> Give me a thousand dollars. I'll piss all over you. Yeah, would, you fuck. would you slap your best friend for a million dollars, bitch? I would fucking kick him in the dick for a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. Sorry, dollar. he's not gonna kick me in the dick for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar and double cheeseburger. Yeah. Right? Double cheeseburgers are more than a dollar, so I would take that. No No, onions. I'll split the burger with No No (laughs) onions, though. I'll do it for no onions. Um, No onions. Deal. The next next match, and this is kind of my issue with uh, wrestling. I know there's brand splits, so you have two separate things. Right, you got to watch both. But when you do a combination show, you really find out that there's too many champions. Yes. There's way too many champions. Too many matches. There's like eight championship matches or there's cruiserweight women's so there's one two three, three four five six seven wow, eight out of the 13 eight there. matches are for a title yeah out of 13 that's that's crazy 13 so it's too many baron corbin is fighting dean ambrose kind of takes away from the credibility of being a champion right because everybody's a champion the, the championships to me have as much prestige as you want them to have yeah right that's true. You make well, the title. Exactly. Right. Well, you can, not, the, not necessarily the wrestlers, but us as the fans. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know, they're like, oh, they're, they're MacGuffins who forward the plot. Yeah, right. Or they're the most prestigious thing in the world. It's however much you want to do. Yeah, see, it. that's how I feel about like the world titles. Yeah. But like everything else other than that, I'm just kind of like... Mm-hmm. hands way too often. Now. Nobody well, is a sta- staple champion. For well, back in the atmosphere, they change even more. But you also had the, you also had so. the best roster of all time. I mean, no, don't don't even compare what they're doing now. Compare you had two of the I top five had, greatest wrestlers ever. I will say you had the best main event of all time back then, like The Rock, Stone Cold, Mick Foley, Chris Jericho, Triple H. The mid card was very weak. Uh, it was, yeah, and that's why I liked about WCW was the mid card. Yeah, mid card. TV title, Jericho held that yeah. shit for like two title, years. Cruiserweight title, fucking Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, the well, The Cruiserweights was the best part. I think right. my favorite part. That's why because Rey Mysterio, WCW made my top ten right. wrestlers of all time. Here, um, I think you have the best wrestlers you've ever had in WWE. Uh, yes, yes, they're not yes. the best performers. Wrestlers. Like, I went back to my Charlotte and, right. and Ric Flair thing. Charlotte is a better wrestler than Ric Flair. Ric Flair, Ric Flair is more shit. one of the best performers ever. Yeah. But in the defense of Ric Flair, he comes from a generation, like I said earlier, yeah, where right. he tosses yeah, and but, fireman but, carries. Yeah, yeah but even still, I like that only kind of wrestling. Right. Right. Yeah, but, but I'm not like, giving see Jake the Snake. Came up with a DDT. But see, the you thing know? is, it's like, I don't... <laughs> which is a devastating move. You DDT yeah. somebody, it should but stop it the took match. So, exactly. It took so long for that shit to come out. And when it did, it became... It was a devastating move for a while. So watered down. Yeah, yeah and but... it became the weakest move. They have a, the a spike rope well, assisted DDT that Randy Orton does. So, transition. The next match is Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin. Yeah. What's Dean Ambrose do for his finisher? Double under hook DDT. Right. So... Mick. Yep. Just like Mick. Right. Dean Ambrose does that. I personally do not care for Dean Ambrose. I love Baron Corbin's finisher. Oh my the god. The end of days is awesome. Because yeah. he like swings them around and then kills them. Nobody has ever, fun fact, nobody has ever kicked fun out of the end of days. What did you know? <laughs> fun fact. Fun fact. Did you know? Nobody has ever. I love Catacris. Uh, really? Nobody. So they, they're protecting like the RKO? Because the RKO is 
the most devastating Ocean move in wrestling. Canyon cutter, bitch. So, which we're going to go back to because a lot of moves that are big moves now yeah, are old moves. moves. They're old moves, though. That's what I'm saying. So maybe they weren't the best wrestlers in the past, but they still do a lot of... Wrestling today is too many big moves. Exactly. I do a buckle bomb, and then I also exploder you, and then I do a pile yeah, driver. I'm not going for a pin after any of these Three things. in a row, and I'm like, should have been enough. Yeah, exactly. And then I do all three of these major moves to you, and, and then, then a pop-up power out. bomb. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you should be dead. Right. Dude, <laughs> finishers mean nothing other than, like, the RKO. They really only build up certain ones. Yeah, which you kind of get somebody in the face, going. they look glazed over, that's the end of the match. You should never... Yeah, and you should never... Because I heard a great story. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was talking about how one time uh, he was fighting Jake Roberts. And the British Bulldogs were fucking with the snake the whole time in the back. And got it really riled up. Yeah. So he got it out. Jake Roberts gets the snake out of the bag. And immediately starts coiling around his neck. Coils around his neck. Starts strangling him. Starts coiling around his face. Oh. So, Never heard but, that he, story. but he got hit with the DDT. So Ricky, Ricky did. Ricky did. So Ricky's laying there. He's like. I cannot kill his finisher. He's yeah. like, if I get up, I kill this finisher. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's being killed. He's Five, it's wrapping around his face, and he's like, Jake Roberts is like pulling at it. He's like, Ricky, you gotta help me. <laughs> and at that point, he's like, then Jake dropped down to his knees, and he's like, he's like, what do I do? He's like, do I save him? Pin me. No. And then let's get it off. Well, he was <laughs> no, because our uh, Jake hit. Ricky with his finisher. Mm -hmm. So Ricky had to just Ricky lay there. Dead. But Jake's dying, so he's not thinking. <laughs> so I'll pin the guy. Man. Well, he's pulling it and pulling it. Ricky didn't get up to help. <laughs> a bunch of faces and stuff, all the locker room cleared out. Of course. They finally, I think Ricky did help him at one point to kind of pull it, and they finally got it off. But then the snake escaped the ring and oh, went to the crowd. So then they talked about all the wrestlers coming out and how they were grabbing each other and pulling each other in front of the snake. And they're like, no, you go get it. <laughs> and these are 80s. Yeah. Wrestlers. Oh, where they're all yeah, they're all smash mouth. They they hate, you know, they're all just big ass dudes. They're afraid of the snake. But yeah. So under the giant. He was afraid of the snake. Right. But it went to the crowd, oh, so I it just separated the crowd. Oh, yeah, you are right. more than one bite. <laughs> but with uh so back to the DDT. Yeah. <laughs> Dean Ambrose, I I've never been a Dean Ambrose fan. I think he's like a like a watered down Mick Foley. Piper. Yeah. And like a Mick Foley, he kind of does. I'm crazy. Look at my hot dog cart. He's that's not crazy. crazy. That's stupid. Yeah, Brian Tillman was crazy. Right. But it's yeah. like. But yeah, Brian Tillman like had a gun. Right. And it, yeah, with Austin. Yeah. I, I remember that. Like, he wore a dress. You can't do that now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I got Baron Corbin. To I also win. Have Baron Corbin. Because they've been building Baron Corbin like a. Like yeah. he. I thought he'd be the, the world champ. Next year, probably. Yeah. Um, I got Corbin. But yeah, I got Baron Corbin. I do wish I had a stipulation like a no holds bar or whatever. But there's too many stipulations as it is. Everything is yeah. a stipulation. So, okay. All yeah. with three of the 13. And matches. then you have the non stink <laughs> sanction match. That's Which probably we'll going to be the. Yeah. Um, I got Corbin. Yeah, I got Corbin as well. I Just to differ from you guys, and since Ian I don't Ambrose? know okay. Corbin, I yeah. will go with Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. All right. Okay, so the next match we have after that for another title. Of course. The match I'm actually probably looking forward to the most okay. because he's become one of my favorite wrestlers now. And it's. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. <laughs> and it's not Kevin Owens, it's Chris Jericho. <laughs> and that kills me inside because when we did our top 10 list last year, yeah. I, I, Chris all, it, was an all I did was bad. Him, I was like, he, I told you he wouldn't make my top 25. <laughs> A year later, he's in my top 10. Yeah. Because he's had the best year of his career. Everybody yeah. talks about when no he came back everything. before and he did the Shawn Michaels feud and everybody that says was that was his best. Um, I didn't really get to see that when it happened. So, you know, I didn't. So uh, I don't feel as strongly as other people do. But this whole transition into the Festival of Friendship, which you knew Kevin Owens was going to attack him eventually. Right, you knew it was going to happen. Still, though. It's like going into the movie and you know the end. Right. You're still along for the ride, and it's incredible. The, Titanic. The, the reveal. Right. The, re <laughs> the reveal. I don't really feel that. Okay. <laughs> the, the but you know the ending going, going in. in. Oh, you know it's going to happen. Yeah. Anyway. But you, you go in uh, and you kind of know. Station, it's about the um, ride. Right. The journey. They... Yeah. Uh, and we should do something. <laughs> we should do something for this for like our predictions. Well, like whoever's we can tally it up. Yeah, then whoever's got the lowest points should have to do something. Okay. We'll okay. figure that out. We'll figure it out there in the week, and then I maybe I'll post well, it. Well, since or, Paul or I mean, by default, guess Paul. That's true. Have to eat dogs that's true. We can make. Well, I don't know if we should go that <laughs> shit. Why not? Because <laughs> what if what if Paul gets any predictions and then you lose? <laughs> Paul's not on the podcast. Predictions <laughs> are all is void, bitch. Out. 
<laughs> no and Lloyd. Okay. We'll dub over it we'll with figure, predictions. Yeah, we'll figure something out. You've like uh, Bill the Butcher women. And then maybe we can do a... Uh, we'll do something. Maybe I'll... That sounds cool. Maybe I'll... I don't know. We'll figure we'll it figure. out. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Or maybe I'll put a thing online and we'll, we'll I'll look it up. But anyway, so the next match, Kevin Owens the uh, versus Chris Jericho, the United States champion. Right. Um, I want Chris Jericho to win. Yes, me too. But logically, the, logically, he's not sense. going to. He's not. Going like, well, to. contextually in the story, it makes sense. It makes sense. The story, yeah, because but, because again, I, I don't want to break kayfabe and be a mark, but you know, you like, do that. You, he's leaving for Fozzie. The veterans are always there. Over. Right, else. and he's actually leaving WWE to go on tour. Even West. though Kevin Owens just got raped. He did. Goldberg. Which makes also again contextually makes sense. Yeah. Right. Because if Brock Lesnar couldn't beat him, why would But I've seen Chris Owens. Jericho have a long time. Kevin Owens match with Chris Goldberg Chris Jericho many other times. Yeah. And but so that means Chris Jericho, logically, should beat the fuck out of Kevin. But Goldberg Owens. was not a superhero back then. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. That was the, the, the same was, match with him and Kevin Owens. Back then. The same match oh, with him and Kevin Owens. Killing. Yeah. He was abomination. He was killed the same everything. First match with him and Hugh Morris. It was just a decimation of somebody who's already been there for a while. Just you know. And I think I that am. was a Sunday show. What? The Hugh Morris. Hugh Morris. I'm pretty Sun sure. No, it was Sunday. Was a, no, I'm pretty sure I saw that on. It's because right when you mentioned it, I'm like Sunday. No, no they did. They it wasn't Sunday Night Heat, but it was like a. Was was a, a Thursday, Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Thursday, yeah, but they, I'm pretty sure because I remember they had a Saturday morning show. Yeah, but they had a Sunday Shotgun show too. Uh, Saturday, you know. Shock on Saturday night, yeah, with Vince Russo, bro. Fuck off. <laughs> I hate you, fucker. Um, he's probably listening because he's got nothing else to do. <laughs> he was with Jim Cornette instead. Oh my god! But uh, which Jim Cornette's going to be inducting the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or Rock and Roll Hall? Of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Rock, yeah! The Rock and Roll yeah. Express at the Hall of Fame. Right Can we go to the Rock and Roll and Kiss. Um, <laughs> anyway, we could. So but, it um, actually makes sense for Jack to win. It should, because... Owens is going to win. Which is stupid, though, because it gives... Vindication to the bad guy. Right, which is not what you do. Not a, this not, is not... Not this is finale. not a... Um, uh, what is his name? The guy that did The Wrestler. Mikhail Aronofsky? Yeah. yeah. Aaron Aronofsky. His movies are not for Referee people for that dream, want to have a good day. Yeah. There's no good ending in that, though. No. Um, so it's like he's I writing this. the same guy who did Requiem. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah and like the wrestler. Kind of movie. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, the wrestler is the so Swan. depressing at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. Black Swan, Ooh, too. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, so. I just want to see what their face would make. So it's. Yeah, a, yeah, right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, the one from that 70 show? Top notch. Mila Kunis. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but. American Psycho 2. Not hot. Yeah, right. Yeah, she was an American. She's the psycho. Yeah, she's the psycho on that one, yeah. Um, I can picture the fucking cover of the fucking yeah. tape. Jesus Christ. Anyway, <laughs> the tape. Yeah. It's um, old VR. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Chris Jericho, I would like to win because he needs to get his vindication, but right. he's, he will keep the championship, and then where do you go from there? Because yeah. then kind of Kevin Owens just... Pfft. Unless, um, unless Chris Jericho wins Mania and then loses the next night on Raw. Which they like to do. They do like to do that. They like to. So maybe he'll get his rematch against Kevin Owens the next night and then beat him, and then Jericho's gone. Right. Now that you say that... I'm sticking with Chris Jericho because I want to win yeah. the picks, but I'm also trying to think. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to think. So like we're, a, we're coming up with unbiased opinions of who we think is going to win, not, not, not who, who we favor to win. Right. right I right. think uh, I want Chris Jericho to win, but my pick is going to be Kevin Owens. Yeah, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Yeah. I'm going to go with Jericho. Okay. Um, just because now that you say the Monday after it's, Raw, and I'm like, you know, that after. could really be a, you know what I mean? And then maybe you could set up something else, and then Jericho gets like. Hurt, so he right. has to leave. Comes back to like SummerSlam or something, right? And sure. then, and then maybe gets Don't his, yeah, gets his, uh, their uh, come up and right. Okay, so you two have Kevin Owens, and I got Jericho yeah. for that one. So the I next match, two. next match, we're gonna. It's Comania, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comania too. <laughs> like Kevin Owens, I don't know. I think you know how to spell, bro. Like, you're wrestlers. Like, this yeah. is Comania. <laughs> is it like Konami? Yeah, it's KO Mania. No, it's not. That's Co Mania, dum dum. Hit dummy. <laughs> he taped cool. it on your tree, you <laughs> idiot. Um, so he deserves to lose because he's big, fat, and dumpy, and I don't like him. Anyway, oh, no, I really <laughs> don't. I really he's, don't. He's another one of those just like generic non personality wrestler. Yeah, wrestlers. Wrestlers. yeah, that's why he became an indie darling. His match against his matches against John Cena, like when he beat John Cena in that first match, yeah. was awesome. His gimmick is I can wrestle well. Right. I can get hey, 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 I'm a guy that's fat, but I can do. Flips. I can do a moon salt. I can yeah. get behind that. No, I can't. Seriously, you want to get behind Kevin Owens? Yeah, so long as he's not behind You could just me. get behind him and rub his <laughs> belly. 
<laughs> like, that's Kevin Owens. Buddha. Yeah, <laughs> that's Kevin Owens. Um, anyway, so the next match we have is Bailey. the... It's for the women's, the Raw, raw Women's that was Championship. Raw women or is it Women's Raw? You know what I'm saying, guys. The, we'll say The Raw Women's Champion. <laughs> Uh, like it's a things. fatal four-way elimination match, which yeah. I think they just announced on this past Raw. Yeah. Um, it's going to be Bailey, who's the champion, versus Charlotte Flair, versus Sasha Banks, versus Nia Jax. And it's elimination style. Which I love. So that means Nia Jax is going to get triple teamed. She'll probably be the first one out. Yeah. During and after the show. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a part of that Samoan dynasty. Anyway, there's... Um, so Nia Jax will be the first one out, which pisses me off, because I think she should be the champion. Right. Because well, that makes a, sense contextual. A, right, aesthetically, look at her. Yeah, yeah. She I could couldn't beat her. She exactly. could beat all she three could, of them on her own. We could have a handicap match against her, and she'd beat us up. Exactly. And maybe it, Charlotte might give her the biggest run, but yeah, she, because she's, she's kind of built like a man. Yeah, she's yeah. starting to look more like a man every day. Um, That's okay. I still love her. Yeah, but she's the way she's built. She's looked more like a man than uh, her dad. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who, who looks like Dolph Ziggler's grandmother? <laughs> he yeah. does. No, the, the dude that was dressing up as John Cena's girlfriend looked like. Oh, Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Tyler Breeze, he did. Look more like Breeze. a woman. I said I would bang Tyler Breeze. Breeze. Yeah. If I would fight it, if I went well, like this, I would like, yeah. show him in a skirt and leggings. Like, that guy's got really feminine legs. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that guy's got a killer we're body. We're going to cut that clip just saying, I would bang Tyler Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, gotta, I said if his face is covered. Uh, Shit. Um, <laughs> fuck it, I'm editing this. Um, so. Uh, I got Sasha Who Banks. Who do you got? Sasha Banks? Yeah. You think she's so a heel I turn? I think it's going to come down to Bayley and Sasha. I think Sasha's going to go a little too aggressive. Cheat? You think she, she's going to cheat? She might, she... she might pull an Eddie. Because Eddie's her mentor. Yeah. She'll pull Eddie Guerrero she's doing, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Which she fucked up because she, when she fought Nia Jax, she was supposed to grab that rope. Yeah. And she fucked she up. She did not grab She didn't grab the rope. She yeah. still went for the pin. Um, which I can't blame her because if you went for the ropes when you're doing that kind of pin... You break the pin. Yeah. You could not. Just you could not hold yourself up like but that. Yeah, I think Sasha might cheat the win, pull like an Eddie, throw like the championship at Bailey or That'll something. That'll be her heel turn. Okay. To break up the the team between the two and uh, slowly start yeah. a few between them. That's uh, my pick, Sasha. Okay, so we'll make this interesting because I really don't know who's. It's I don't hard, know. Yeah. So yeah, say, not, Jackson, not, not say not this not. becomes a bonus. Definitely a bonus. Say we all become tied. Okay. What order do you have them going out in? Ooh. Nia Jax. Yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. Then Bailey. Okay. Yeah. So, That's, and you said you have, there, you have Sasha Bailey. Yeah, Sasha winning. Sasha pinning Bailey. Sasha's, Sasha's going to pin Bailey. Bailey. Okay. And I, I really hope she turns heel. I thought she was going to turn heel on Raw because the way she was standing yeah, there, I'm like, she should just knee her in the face right now. Just, <laughs> just hit her. They got to wait. That's what you would do. I would. That's what I did to Jay. I did the J. I turned on him. Money ain't fuck you. <laughs> then I beat the crowd. I choked on him like five times. Nice. Yeah. Because we lost the match, so I obliterated him. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Totally pulled the Shawn Michaels, but we choked last. <laughs> so who do you have? I, I would go with, with Nia, Charlotte, then Sasha. And so you got Bailey, Bailey winning. winning. So yeah. Bailey's going to retain. Okay. Okay. Impressive. Jason, what do you got? Okay. I got Charlotte winning. Really? Which <laughs> we all have a different. I got yeah, Charlotte sure. winning, but it kind of – the Sasha thing, I'm really on the fence about. Yeah. I don't think Nia Jax or Bailey's going to win. Well, you're, you're calling the, the heel turn that perfect With Sasha, yeah. In but a that's match what, against each other. Yeah, and, and that's what throws happen. me off. It's so. like a Royal Rumble where, you know, you all team up and then you got to fight at some point. But that might not be a heel turn. It could just be a Sasha taking advantage, but not – not yeah, because she kind of did like a she kind of did like heelish things at the last pay per view. Like she helped Bailey retain. So maybe the next on a Raw to be a full fledged heel turn. Right. right. Yeah, like she could do the promo and come out and be like, "You're a loser," because she loves to say that. Loser. It's her yeah. favorite thing to call people. Like, it's her cousin, by the way. Yeah, she does. She says it like that too. Yeah, yeah really true. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. He did. He did. He wrapped her entrance last year's WrestleMania. That's pretty sweet. It was <laughs> awesome. It was really <laughs> cool. Not wearing Eddie Guerrero tights. Oh, and you you want to know? She didn't win, but it's cool. He also got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he, there's a celebrity wing. Him? Oh, yeah. That, so is David so Arquette in there? The celebrity wing. No. <laughs> they actually just heard somebody talk about how David Arquette, they were like, there's two people that will never be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Vince, Russo. Vince Russo. and David Arquette. And they're like, David Arquette's got a better chance than Vince yeah. Russo. So the funny part, the celebrity ring holds people like um, Snoop Dogg, Donald Trump, Drew Carey. What has he done for the WWE? Drew Carey? Yeah. He was in the Royal Rumble one year. Yeah, he I was. He was. It. He was like 2001. Yeah, he yeah, was. I a, definitely saw. He it. was post Attitude Era. What was it? The aggression. 
It was before the Ruthless Aggression. Ruthless Aggression, right. It was before like in that. the middle. It was like kind of invasion-ish yeah. time. Because um, he, he came out to the ring with the Hardys in the ring wrestling each other. The Hardys eliminated themselves. The Drew Carey was in He was the in there by himself. And, and then it was Kane, right? Kane's music can't oh, suffer. Yeah. Kane is eliminated. Best Kane moment Drew ever. Drew Carey though. just eliminated himself. <laughs> you know what the best Kane moment ever is, though? The Kane and Rooney? <laughs> no. No. I love that. No. The best the Hulk Hogan... And That's great too. No, okay. Uh, so we'll, no, okay, so we'll do our favorite Kane moments real quick. Yeah, yeah. Favorite Kane moments. Side track for Kane moments. Side track for Kane. Okay, let me do my pick real quick. I have Charlotte winning. Okay. I have it Nia Jax. First out. Nia Jax is first out. Yeah. Sasha, Bailey, then. So the Bailey and Charlotte for you. Bailey and Charlotte are going to be the end. so fucking repetitive. So got well, yeah, but they've been, Charlotte and Bailey. So no, Bailey but they've been doing Charlotte and Sasha forever. And then, That's true. But see, the only, th the only reason I'm picking it. It's because I'm using this as a tiebreaker. So if I literally would pick the same order you did. Right. And then it would be a tiebreaker because then we'd be tied. So I decided an idea. So. The Raw after Mania, no matter who wins, Emma's going to come back. Yeah. Emma and then the, uh, there's another yeah. one. Yeah, because, because Emma Lina looks. didn't work. She came out and was like, Emma Lina is not working for me. <laughs> Bye. So sorry for that 18 weeks. It's nothing. very hot Australian if you've ever seen her. Mm. So hot. Nice. So then she did comes out, she has like these weird like. Like a, like eighties shoulder pad things, oh, but yeah. they but they look futuristic. It's weird. Oh, okay. She has glasses, half gloves. She's, she kicks ass. She suplexes people. Fucking does a fucking. I've like never a, a really noodle lock. A what? Yeah. The the great noodle lock. The fucking like the um. What the fuck's the move called? Yeah. Like the exploder. Like the, oh no, oh the like submission hold. Oh, like it's kind of like a, the, like a no. They're laying on their stomach. Okay. And she she hooks the legs and she uh, bridges back and grabs yeah. the neck. When you oh, when you do this, yeah. remember and you cross you put yeah, your foot you through here and, and then, then you arch back and then you grab yeah. the head. Yeah, she does that, awesome. which is awesome because because I'm saying it's fucking women wrestlers, man. It's ridiculous. So I have <laughs> so I have I have Charlotte winning the title. Charlotte's gonna win the title. It's gonna be Nia, Sasha. Bailey, and then and then and then you had you had Nia, had Nia, Charlotte, Charlotte Bailey, Bailey, Sasha. Sasha, and then you had Nia, Nia, uh, Charlotte, yeah, Nia, yeah, Nia Charlotte, Charlotte Sasha, Sasha, Bailey. Okay, we all have Nia going out first. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nia. Anyway, favorite. She is really attractive. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> favorite Kane moment. There is like a six man mini wrestler match. Mini wrestling? Minis. And Mac, the, like, remember, like, Max Mini? Remember all the little luchadors that they oh, had? Yeah. They're little Mexican wrestlers. Sonny was the rep. So, <laughs> and this was a Kane. Was this, like, me coming in and beating up Billy and Robbie? Oh, no, no, this, yeah, but this was, like, <laughs> this was, like, Kane. Uh, so, they're all wrestling, and then, like, a thing happens. Let's see if I can oh, find it. Yeah. Yeah. They're much nicer. Yeah, very hot Australia. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. I'm You're just talking about mini canes. I'm talking about. No, it was not. Sorry. Are you not recording? <laughs> I was not recording that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway. Okay, we're going to start that part over. Okay, we'll just it. skip the stuff. John Cena, Nikki Bella versus uh, Miz and Maurice. They have a really cool back and forth. Everything's really deeply personal. It's exciting for somebody. Right. This match. It's very. It's me. One person <laughs> One person's excited about this match. I mean, Dale might be. I'm excited because I would like to see John Cena kick the shit out of the Miz. These are all things that we were saying while we thought and, we were. And Thank Dale you. wants to be the caboose in the show. Right. <laughs> so let's She's a train wreck that I'd like to be the caboose in. Yeah, he wants to be he <laughs> wants to get he wants to get his stuff. caboose wrecked by her train. I want to plow her, but no. the analogy didn't work. It did not. It was it sounded the other way. Yeah. Um I I want and this hurts I me. Really dressed up as Nikki Bella. Picking a winner for this match hurts me because yes. I would like it I would like this match to be a double KO. Um, <laughs> That would be awesome. I would like all four people to knock each other out at the same time. Maybe maybe Reese gets to stay because she's got a sweet cam toe. And she's fresh, <laughs> though. She's got a sweet cam toe. You should have seen her at the Rumble. They're like, you cannot walk down to the ring with that. You can't. Look <laughs> you at that thing. Look at that PG thing. Um, uh, obviously, John Cena and Nikki Bella are going to win. I, you don't think so? I would like the Miz and Maurice to I win like just because Maurice. I want... I like this. It makes sense because apparently John Cena's taking more time off after WrestleMania. But that doesn't matter. He's John Cena. Well, it's John Cena. John Cena, he beat the Nexus. I mean, yeah. By himself. But yeah. <laughs> Contextually, it makes sense for John Cena to get his come up to, to beat the Miz and shut yeah. him up. And then you, what, the rumor that you heard was about he, John he Cena. He might propose after the match. John Cena ah, might propose. You can't do that yeah. when you get that shit knocked out. It'd be yeah, great right. for me to take a pee break so I'll be there live. <laughs> yeah, don't watch that match yeah, at all. That's a pee break. Oh, a pee break. Match. Yeah. You're watching on the TV while you're taking a piss. That's Twelve dollar uh, break. But um, right. So I, you, I would like. To, I would like. See, 
My heart says Miz and Maurice. My head says John Cena and Nikki Bella. It's right. That's what I think. But I'm going to go with Miz. Okay, I'm going to go. Maurice. I'm going John Cena and Nikki Bella. That's a tough one because yeah. I'm, I'm trying not. I'm trying to be unbiased. It's hard. Yeah, it is, especially with these because I don't like either one of the. Right. Uh, like the only, okay, the but... only like, the only thing that ties us all together is we all like Maurice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> the woman that the only not wrestler. <laughs> I mean, she was a wrestler, yeah. but the only not active wrestler. Right. I gotta go with the Miz. The oh, Miz okay. and Maurice. So you two got the Miz and yeah. Maurice, and I got John Cena and Nikki Bella, I'm which kills that because I just thought. Logically, you know, the, he's, the yeah, wedding, yeah, or they, the yeah, proposal, yeah. If that's the truth, and it's, I gotta it's go just, with John. and to me, yeah, it just, match John. right, exactly. He's not going to, he's just not going to let His that next happen. next match is probably going to be my favorite of the night. The, I, I think so too. I'm yeah. really looking forward to this one too. The <laughs> next, people are, because fuck you. Be, yeah, right, get over it. Um, the next match, let me just make sure I'm recording this time. Okay, we're good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. All over, yeah, right? right, fuck that segment. It's a match we don't care Caboose! about. Caboose! <laughs> I'm a train! <laughs> yeah. Dale wants Nicky Bell to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> That's what we got from that. Anyway. The, next, the, the next match that some people probably think is yeah. a fuck in the ass, which we think... I think it's going to be great. Yeah, it's man. a great match. Um, Shane McMahon versus the phenomenal one, AJ Put Styles. Put your comments down, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great match because AJ Same Styles way. AJ Styles could wrestle an invisible blow-up doll and it would be the best match like of all time. Yeah, but he wrestled an actual blow-up doll. Yeah. You could just be like, that blow-up doll is invisible. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know why it's got to be a blow-up doll, but sure. Yeah. And it would be the best match of the night. It would be great. Um, he can do anything. He really can carry any wrestler. Yeah. And so Shane McMahon's not... six feet tall. So. Yeah, right. Well... That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Shane McMahon's not like a schlub, you know what I mean? He's he's older and he was never really a wrestler, he's but he's had good he's had matches. matches with wrestlers like right. Shane McMahon. He had a fantastic like, match with X Pac. Kurt Angle. Angle. Yeah. Kurt Angle. That man. Great. Right. And <laughs> then he did a Survivor Series match. He last did a Survivor year. Series. He started beating everybody up. Was there no mercy with the Kurt Angle? The King of the Ring. King of the Ring. Yeah, because he's throwing it through the plate glass window. It plexiglass. Yeah. plexiglass. And it wouldn't break. And then he gave him like. Concussion. Four or five times. Well, so it was originally concussion sugar from glass, but they didn't. Re they they used. They didn't replace it in time. Did they go to the wrong piece of glass? No, they didn't replace no. it because oh. it did it twice. Because he because in the other so glass, glass, he goes to throw him through it, yeah. and he bounces off, and you see him just poop, triple pain. So then he just grabs him and he throws him through it. Yeah, um, painful. Uh, so Shane can take and will do some extreme have shit. Have you not seen him jump off of everything? Titan Tron. Well, did you see the, the, the last year we fought Undertaker? He jumped off the hill and cell and missed and went through a table. Yeah. It's incredible. He's fucking in his forties. He's in his forties. Fifties. Yeah, I shit. He's old, Even if he's like in his he mid forties, Jesus How Christ. Old he's got to be in his seventies. He's 70, yeah. seventy. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Um, Still kicking. Yeah. Um, so obviously, okay. This is not obvious, and this this hurts me that it's not obvious. AJ has to win, right? AJ's gonna win. <sighs> he has to, but. You can't take away his credibility that... Yeah, but the way they yeah, built it on... Shane McMahon. The, yeah, but then yeah. what Shane did? Who's Shane ever beaten? Has he ever won a match he's been did in? Did he beat X-Pac or something? I don't <laughs> think so. I don't know. I don't want to say... He didn't beat Undertaker. He didn't beat Kane any time. He didn't beat Kurt Angle. No. Did he beat X... Look at WrestleMania 15. Let's, uh... We're going to look and oh, see. Oh, there's a Shane McMahon. WrestleMania 15, WrestleMania 15. 15. Yeah. Uh, well, they had the... Okay, well, I don't want to do the video. I just want to do the if I can find the wiki. Why don't you Google WrestleMania 15? You shut your fucking mouth. God, I'm gonna Google my dick in your mouth. There. They can't. They can't. It's just ODD.com too. If, if I were to Google, that, it was for the European Championship. I mean, <laughs> no, it's just the thing. Xbox was European champion. He was okay. Oh, good. Now you're. Nope, now let's play a goddamn video. I hate you. Media, you fuck. Fair use. Shut your fucking mouth. Fair use. Ooh. I doubt Wiki. they care about putting commercials on your YouTube video. Yeah, it's like four seconds. It's well, five. I just don't want to hear it. No. Yeah. Um, scroll down. Get scrolling. Uh, I like how the viewers says defended. Do a scroll on your fucking Wikipedia page. Yeah, with this sassy house. All the way down. Why don't they just have a list? Uh, Shane McMahon defeated X Pac. So he won. Wow. Okay. So he won his debut WrestleMania match. And it was. But it was going to be a and, Yeah, and he was the European champion at the time. Like so he had to have won a match. Stuff. Right. So maybe, did he beat X Pac the first time for the European title? Because Shane yeah, was the European win, champion. Yeah, you were. You said he was. Def he defended it. Right. Yeah, I said he defended the European title. Yeah, Shane, Shane McMahon, McMahon the champion. The champion, yeah. Yeah. I don't know when he won it. Though. I don't know who he beat. That's crazy. But yes, Shane McMahon has won a match. He's won a European yeah, title match at WrestleMania. Title, yeah. Right. Um, That's okay. awesome. And then they fought again, it looks like, at No Mercy. In the UK. Right. Um, but. UK doesn't count. 
I'm gonna go with AJ. I mean, contextually, Shane Woodwin because he's the good guy standing up. And for he's his just brand. been getting his ass beat, right, for the last but three weeks. It's AJ Styles against Shane McMahon. It's true. Come on. But remember what the original plan last year for Shane and Undertaker was until Undertaker said, "Fuck no." I'm not losing yeah. to Shane McMahon. It doesn't make any sense. He did. He the plan was for Shane to beat the Undertaker last at year. WrestleMania. Yeah. Last year at WrestleMania. Like because last year. because, because Vince McMahon says Vince McMahon says if you don't beat him, you lose your job. Well, he didn't beat him, and then he still kept his job. So you're like, what was the point? Yeah, there was no point. So the it's because it's, win, it's, right? the rumor is the Undertaker is like, mm, I'm not losing to Shane. I'm not losing to Shane. Shane. You idiot. What is? I mean, I know I've already lost to WrestleMania. So but he, I lost to Brock Lesnar. Right. Who fucking... didn't lose for like three years after yeah. that? Yeah. Um. So I got AJ Styles. I got AJ Styles. I, I, shit. If Shane McMahon wins, though, I'm not going to be surprised. I I just yeah. thought of something. And they have to actually have a wrestling match, which AJ no. Styles made a very good point about. He's like, you can't use you can't use weapons. You can't use this. There's no steel cage. You have to out wrestle. You have to out wrestle the best wrestler in the world. Good luck. So you have the winning outcome for the. Uh... Raw Women's Championship match. You know why? Why is that? Because Charlotte Flair hasn't lost at a pay per view. That's she did true. actually lose oh, at the last pay per view. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck! Did yeah. she change it? Yeah. Sounds barely won the world title. That's how, okay. yeah. And yeah. that's why they threw the curveball, which is stupid. They should have done it at WrestleMania. But um, if they did it at WrestleMania, it would have been expected. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, well, you know what was funny, though? She was 16 and 0 at pay per views before she lost. Just like her dad's 16. No, her dad's oh, a 16 time okay. world How champion. Many wins to the Undertaker? 21. 21 and 1, man. 21 and 1. Well, well 20, like 23 and 4. Yeah, 23 and 1 now. After the loss. Right. right. Yeah. But she won. lost. She, Ric Flair is 16 time champion. She, she lost her 16. And nine, apparently, that wasn't. Them. Their, their plan wasn't to have her be undefeated. It just kind of happened naturally. Right. 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 But then, we, and then but you then know how we're talking about it. But yeah, you know, you know how it's like well, Yeah, but you know how dirty it is with their statistics. They when they find out something, they're like, "Oh, this person you know, one and zero or fifteen and zero when fighting somebody on Sunday when it's snowing." You're yeah. like, "Okay, Whatever. cool. That's a statistic, I guess." I love NFL statistics. Yep, that's those a, are those, some of the best. <laughs> just like, but, what are you talking about? But that's they, a great statistic. But, how yeah. is that relevant any other day? It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just that it makes sense. Rushing then. yards in the middle of September. Right. The only, the only okay, one that made cool. sense was like during the Super Bowl when they gave all the statistics about no teams ever come back or ninety. It was like ninety-two and zero when they were leading at the half at Super Bowl and blah blah blah. blah. And the Patriots won so great. Thank you, thank you, Patriots. Great job. The whitest team in the NFL. The best team in the NFL. Um, we also support Trump. That's cool. That's cool. Well, they're Patriots. They, by default, have to be. There you go. That's true. Okay. This is America, you fucking commie. <laughs> well, we kind of like the commies, maybe. Um, like Trump Trump loves commies. To be, well. a, to be a good patriot, you have to question your government, not abide by everything nope. they say. Nope. <laughs> well, like my mom. Sorry, mom. I love you, but you're going to he, marry Dewey. And he's crazy. That's fucking. So you wear, wear like a tinfoil hat? He might as well. I love the dude. But I've never been into politics Me neither. Uh, until I see, you know, the coming of the end of our world. Of course. The, the uh, apocalypse, yeah. right. if you will. Make sure I'm recording again. Okay, All there right. we go. So we're doing, back to the match. Shane McMahon, AJ Styles. I got AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Styles. So collectively, AJ Styles. Now the question is, what is Shane McMahon going to jump off? It's gonna be something. He's jumped off the, the roller coaster. Across the ra- That's right, the roller coaster. He's gonna ride the roller coaster <laughs> to the ring. He's gonna fly off of it and then miss and get a Styles Clash. Or he's gonna fly into something. Styles Clash. He's gonna do something outrageous, like a coast to coast, a Van Terminator, something. Coast to coast from the coaster. Oh my god. Coaster to coast. <laughs> so he's gonna do coaster. a coast to coast from the coaster. <laughs> um, That'd be sweet. That would be awesome. He's gonna ride it down and then leap off and then do the drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Which would be let's awesome. And let, but unless they do what I think they're gonna do. And Brock Lesnar is going to ride the roller coaster, and then Goldberg is going to spear it, and then spear pin the, him. Roller coaster. the whole <laughs> roller coaster, and then he's going to pin him. Uh, the whole roller coaster. The roller coaster. He's going to pick up part of the roller coaster and pin it. Jackhammer. <laughs> yeah. He's going to pin the roller coaster, that and then he's going to jackhammer the arena. Of course. And um, I'll be there. So I'm just going to die. Yeah. So you're going to die. It'll be the last time you hear Troy. Yeah. Um, so luck. we all have AJ Styles. The next match is a match that I. Really can't give a shit about. Really, I'm, I, I, I I'm excited. I kind of am. I just don't like Triple H. I've never liked I him. I fucking love yeah. Triple H. And I'm, he's in my top ten wrestlers. I never I liked him. him. He's Mister. <laughs> well, because he's because he he's technically amazing. He's a great wrestling wrestler. No, he's not. He is a B plus player not. who thinks he's A plus. 
He's a. That's why he thinks he's one of the. That's why I think he's one of the most compelling characters no. ever. No, I think the only reason he thinks he's better when he actually is. Yeah, but he thinks that in real life. He's still a preppy blue blood at heart. Yeah, exactly. but he thinks that in real life. The only reason he is in the situation that he is in is because he married Stephanie McMahon, Art which I life. forced it to happen. I so. think that he did that. On, I, <laughs> I am a, I am a genuine believer that. He only did it for the push. I don't. Yes. Uh, maybe he loves her now. Maybe they have a thing. But I don't. Triple H. When you think about him getting in them with a the click, that's what he that and blurry then art imitates life, which imitates art thing. It's like, yeah. well, no. I just think he did it because why not, moron? But if I why of, wouldn't you marry if I think Vince McMahon's of daughter? The character of Triple H. I just don't. He's the greatest. Nah, I think he became a champion in a time that it was like after the Rock and Stone Cold. So they're just kind of like, we got nobody else. Um, let's let him just bury everybody for a while. And that's when I lost a lot of respect for him. Just the whole bury, the reign of terror. Well, if, that, if that's the case, then it wasn't really his choice to no, do it, it. No, it is, because... But this is before him and Stephanie. No. Okay. When he became a champion. Like 2001, I think. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so it was... Well, he got creative control and just kind of... Yeah, and then now... I mean, now he... I now I like him behind the scenes. Well. Yeah, right. But see, I like him behind the scenes because he's the he's NXT bringing guy. in the NXT. He's doing the the, the CWC. He did yeah, a lot of that kind UK of stuff. Tournament. He's right. bringing wrestling back to wrestling. He's Yeah, right. but he's bringing, like, the indies. He's bringing... He's, he's not like Vince. He acknowledges that other wrestling exists. Yes. And that's what I like him. I don't... I like Triple H, like, the executive. I don't like Triple H character. for the wrestler. Right. Okay. The wrestler, I don't really... And then this is just more of him just kind of putting himself over, I think. He didn't need to... Ins- I... The... Okay. My main reason I, I'm pissed off about this is because he came out, helped Kevin Owens win the title, right. which was like a big surprise, and then they didn't do shit yeah, that I agree with there. There for was like no, five or like six five months. months. No there was nothing. The they just acted like it never happened. Right. They kind of said here and there, Seth Rollins was mad. Well, what, why did Triple H do it? And then they just stopped mentioning it. Really it's like the rumble. Right, which I thought was lazy, just lazy writing. They need they panicked because Finn Balor got hurt, so yeah, they needed they something, something to make the crowd go crazy. And I understand that was smart, but there was no follow up yeah. until it, Samoa Joe really. A while. Yeah, until they. And then it was cool. Seth Rollins invaded NXT, yeah, which that was, was awesome. awesome. Um, Samoa Joe came out, destroyed, Seth destroyed, Rollins. and hurt him. Yeah, and Samoa Joe is another the destroyer. He doesn't have a match. He's not on the card. I think he's going to show up in that match, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's my of course. Yeah, yeah, but I like because this. he's a part of Triple H's like gang. Right? Him yeah. and uh, Kevin Owens. Yeah, I love this because this this story is it, it's it's been it's brewing on story, and off right? since 2014. Wow. Yeah, since Seth Rollins turned on the Shield and aligned so, himself with the Authority. The Authority, right? Which is Triple H and Seth. So it's it's been brewing and brewing, and yeah, it's had some pit stops, but all great stories do. You you, you build it, you kind of. It's a little. It's a yeah. slow burn. Right, but I wish they had more consistency. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, see, with them, it's, I'm not like I'm not really high on Seth Rollins to begin with. I don't right. think he's terrible, but I I really the I hate him for injuring Finn Balor, and I know you can't really blame the wrestler, yeah. but I don't like an apron po- or a, a guardrail power bomb. I don't like buckle bombs. I don't anything where you're like. It's what ruthless. It's cool to see, but you, you got you got to kind of you, you seriously you, you yeah, seriously right. injured that guy during the festival of friendship when Kevin Owens did that he power bombed Jericho into the apron. I thought he killed him. The yeah. way that Jericho took that bump, I'm like, your spine is fucked. He's like, dead. like even though it's wrestling and you kind of you can't prepare for those kind of bumps. Right, yeah. So when he threw Finn Balor, I thought it Finn was Balor, just Balor. If you look through that, trying to protect he, himself, right? Arm, because if that's he, what fucked it up. Because if he did it, it was going to be his head that hit that guardrail, yeah. and he would broke his neck. Yeah. And he had to put his arm back to, and it's so insane because the camera runs right up to Finn Balor, and he puts, puts his, his shoulder back, in the back in the <laughs> and, and then wrestles twenty minutes and wins the match. That's yeah. Awesome. Which is when I fell in love with Finn Balor. I was like, this guy is absolutely that's incredible. Dedication, man. Right. Yeah. And then. <laughs> And, and then the it was funny night. because they were kind of burying Seth for a while there. He wasn't winning any matches. Because he was against the authority, so the authority right. had to. Right. So they made it seem like, oh, yeah, but I think they kind of neutered him a little bit by doing that. They made it seem like he needs the authority to be Yeah, exactly. Useful. They need the, he needs the authority. Right. Which, which is like, you needed me. Right. Which, But that's that makes it, to me, it makes it so hard to root one way or the other because Triple H is the bad guy. Right. But he's right. Yeah, and I, I, I would right. agree with you up until the last promo they had on Raw, which I think you guys skipped on Hulu. Yeah, the signing. Because right. the contract signings, I don't care. But it, that promo right there, Seth Rollins gave, made 
made me open my eyes, made complete sense of the, the whole story. Because Seth Rollins said, it's not about beating Triple H. It's not about winning. It's not about, you know, vindication. It's about redemption. It's about gaining who I am before I met you. Yeah. You know, I broke up the shield. I made a lot of mistakes because of you. Now this Sunday, I finally get to end it and right that wrong. And to me, I'm like, yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. You turned your back on yeah. your brothers for, for money and power. Now you want to make... Okay, yeah. Yeah, but still, I'm kind of like, fuck you, because you turned your back on those guys. But at least now he's like, not, because for years, he didn't even right. acknowledge it. He's like, yeah, I did it. Yeah. And now he finally has remorse, and yeah. he's like... I just don't... I don't... God. I'm not Seth Rollins. I'm not a big he looks face. like a fucking vampire? Like an old school vampire Okay. Kind of? Yeah. He, sure. I think he just... He just looks like a... He's just like, yeah, I'm Seth Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Seth. I don't think he's a good face. A little dweeb. I think, I'd rather him be. He could be. I think he's. I think he's a good. I think he, he could be like a Jeff Hardy type face. They let him. It's just they just got to write better for him because yeah, he makes he really. He makes really, mistake. Yeah, like he Jeff makes Hardy. really yeah. corny jokes. So when well, he comes out and he's like, like yeah. "Hey, I'm a blah blah," I'm like, "Don't, don't, don't write Sparkle Cross. Stop. Yeah, stop doing it. Yeah, a, a lot of my favorite wrestlers are the silent ones. That's like Kane. Like Kane, yeah. Sting, okay, Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah but then. But then those, you know, like with Sting, if he needed to talk, he's going to cut yeah. a good promo. Right. Kane didn't need to because he'll just kill you. Undertaker, yeah. promo wasn't so great on but Monday. Kane but Kane's kind of promo was always good. Yeah, because he's like, <laughs> oh, Sting. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. Yeah, that's right. When yeah. him and X-Fox became a tag team. They're well, one of my favorite ever. I think this match, I think Samoa Joe's going to interfere because he can. And but I also it's think, not sanctioned, so there's still going to be a winner. Right. And I also think Mick Foley's going to interfere. Right, because he got fired last week. Right, he's gonna interfere. Seth Rollins is gonna win probably by hitting the pedigree. Because <laughs> it'd be a good catharsis. Right. Wait, what? That's he adopted it from Triple H. Triple H gave it to him. Yeah, because he was like, he's gonna use it to slay ah. the king. It makes perfect sense. He gets that. He, I like his shirt, the King's King Slayer shirt. Yeah. That's right, an awesome shirt, Jamie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. So I think Rollins is gonna win. He kind of has to. I think he's gonna win too. I, without a doubt, Triple H has been putting people over for the last like ten years. I, I don't think I've he seen the WrestleMania. Out of the wrestling yeah. matches that I've seen, I don't think I've seen him win in a long, long he time. He was the world won. champion last year. So yeah, he won the Royal Rumble. Right, but he was still the world champion leading and into WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Right, but he he still put himself over, gave himself the title. Well, sorry. to me, it's to me, it's the thing. I'm I. It's just the backstage thing. I don't think that he should be involved in wrestling. It's cool, like their story. I like it. Once it ends, I really like him to just. Yeah. Stop. Because he's the executive and he comes out trying to be the executive. So you see him do interviews and he's really cool and he talks right. about wrestling, but then he comes out and he's like, oh, I'm the game and blah, blah, blah. Well, like, that's nah. what he said when Seth Rollins called him at TakeOver. Like, the night up, he's like, I'm trying to be this executive. Right. I'm trying to be this guy, but you're yeah. bringing this back out on me. Right. But I, he doesn't want to be that. Yeah, but see, to me, I'm just, it's like, I know yeah, as, yeah. A, as a person, it's like, you're full of shit. You want to be there. That's yeah. why you're like the fourth to last but match. But you got you to gotta immerse yourself in stuff. Right. But he's still four matches out of the main Maybe. event. Yeah, but still, if we he's not. It, but there's a lot of matches that it just goes to the part timer thing. That's yeah. what kind of throws me off about the main event. We'll get to that. We'll but get to these, I'm gonna give Triple H the benefit of the doubt because the next one I, I kind of you think Triple H is gonna win? Yeah, so I, really? I don't think he's gonna win, but just in the interest of keeping ahead yeah, of you guys. Triple H. Yeah, okay, sure. yeah. okay. And okay. I love Triple H anyway. I do too. Yeah, of course. So, so but then the next. Match. Next match. So the next match, the very that's intriguing hard match. Up. The Fuck next match is going to be very interesting. Um, it's going to be because all the booze I'm going to hear. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to cream your pants because you'll see the Undertaker come out. Um, yeah. The Undertaker <laughs> WrestleMania entrance. Death cream everywhere. <laughs> Undertaker uh, uh, WrestleMania entrance. Personally, I've seen it before. It's the in person. He means we've yeah. all seen it. Right. Right. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> it's amazing. It's seeing it at WrestleMania is incredible. As long as one of the monks don't catch their. Shit on fire. How would he be even better? Yeah. Flaming dude to have well, it. Well, <laughs> you better stay there. Sacrifice. Well, Don't well, break K Remember the last time WrestleMania was in Orlando? Was, was That's when I went to. A lot of people got hurt. I watched that firework. Yeah. I watched oh, it shoot yeah. over my head, and I pointed out to Paul, look at that thing, because I saw the ca I watched the cable snap. Let's hope that doesn't happen this year. Yeah. Yeah. I watched the cable the snap. The going to come off the tracks. Like it, was, it was insane. I, I was watching it. I saw the cable snap, and I watched it go right in the crowd, and I was like, Shit, I was like, look, and you could just see it going into the crowd. Yeah, uh, which had to leave. It hurt. The hospital. It hurt like forty people. Wow. Three of them had to go Jesus. to the hospital. 
three of them in the hospital with like injuries. It's like every Burns yeah, you know, stuff like that, and then and maybe because it hit them, and yeah. it's just a rocket shooting at them yeah. on a string. Dude, what right. hell of a souvenir. That's why Jubilee isn't the worst X-Men, right? That's it's right. it's Dazzler. Um, <laughs> That's also right. <laughs> Dazzler is the worst. I Sparkles! Been, I'll agree with you on that. Kill yourself. Um, you're star. in the Phoenix Saga. Jesus Christ. He's Taylor Swift. Um, so the Undertaker's fighting Roman Reigns. Yes. The big dog. It's a battle of whose yard it is. Right. A long gardening match. And <laughs> oh my god, could have went somewhere with that. Plant them posies, Taker. <laughs> yes. Um, so imagine, I thought you'd imagine Undertaker with a gardening hat on, sprinkling things. Little yeah. little shovel. Yes. Yeah, little Trout. shovel. Little oh, shovel. Roman, <laughs> these, I love these days. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like a they have like bushes separating their lawn. Of course. Stay off my lawn, Roman. <laughs> Clippers. Yeah. Keep your lawn clippings off my this yard. Is my yard. <laughs> yeah. Get, Get your crab grass out of here. <laughs> um, Poinciettas. <laughs> Undertaker is my favorite of all time. Yes. Roman Reigns is going to win this match. I Absolutely. thought the exact I hope, same thing. I hope he does cleanly. Yes. Just right. like Brock Lesnar. Because did. it's going to it's gonna instantly turn him heel if he wins it clean. He already, he's already I know he's a heel, but there's no coming back after that. That's fine. He doesn't have to. But I hope he wins and, cleanly. But on the next night, whatever, he still faces guys like Kevin Owens or Brock. Still faces like quote unquote bad guys. Yeah, I don't. Perfect. Okay, like we were talking about earlier, I don't want him to come out and just be like, "Fuck you, fans." Exactly. I, if he comes out and he's just kind of like, "You guys are gonna boo me no matter what I do," so I'm just gonna do pretty much whatever what I, I want. Yeah, so I'm gonna do whatever Perfect. I want. I'm just gonna run rough shot because it's I'm a beast, everybody. and I could just beat everybody up, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Yeah. kind of like how they're kind of how they're doing like this. They're doing with like Samoa Joe, but it's Roman Reigns. You know, with Roman because Samoa Joe's a destroyer. And he comes out, but yes. he's not. He's not in the marquee yet. He hasn't pushed up that far. Roman is. Roman but Roman should. is. Um, I don't want Roman to win the world title anytime soon. Uh, to Monday night on Raw, which he will. He'll probably win it the next night. That'd be awesome. He'll win it. He'll beat Brock Lesnar. The next That'd be night. great. <laughs> it would be incredible because if you beat the Undertaker and then the guy that beat the Undertaker streak the yeah, next night, you would you cement you as now. Goal. Let's see if I Goldberg Roman right, yeah. and then he beats Gold or yeah, and then well, he wouldn't really go. have to because Brock Lesnar already beat him, you know. So, but yeah, anyway, yeah. he could he could come <laughs> out and do a troop or a handicap and beat them beat both. <laughs> <laughs> Double <laughs> Superman punch. He goes to SmackDown with the WWE title. Holds them both. He's good. He goes to SmackDown title and he's like, yeah, fuck SmackDown. And he throws it on the ground. This is vacant. <laughs> and then the same night he wins every title. But yeah, so Roman Reigns wins. He becomes uh, by himself the tag team champion. I would, I would think differently about this match if The Undertaker still had a streak going. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine if Roman broke the streak? Yeah. Oh no, my I, god. No, he would that never come happen. back. He would be an instant heel. There was no argument. He could literally come out and save a, like a baby falling from the sky and he'd be like, You piece of shit! Let him die. <laughs> you should have let him die. You should die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he Man, they really should have thought about that booking. I it, the Brock Lesnar well, thing kinda Well supposedly thirty was Taker's last match, so they wanted him to break right. last night. Yeah, and I, I don't think the streak should have ever been broken personally. I agree. Yeah. I don't let think him, she ever broke. Somebody it. retire with some kind of dignity to their the fucking thing, because, uh, career. Nope. nope. It's know? wrestling. Nope. It's <laughs> wrestling. You're not allowed to. Everybody goes out on their back. It's like if you don't die in your 40s, then you get pissed on by the company. It's true. If yeah. you're a wrestler, yeah, you can make it out of your 30s. What happened when Sting came and finally came to the WWE? Never got to see it. Lost the Triple H to WrestleMania. That's right, I did see that. Yeah, and the DX and NWO ran in, which I thought was fun, nostalgic fun. Yeah. Right. But the thing about it logically doesn't make a fucking sense. Yeah. And then, oh, back to Seth Rollins. Sting Who did Seth Rollins hurt? Sting. And Sting's last match. Sting hurt him. I pretty much made him retire. Like Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seth Rollins did it. Roman he did, he, did, okay. he did the buckle bombs and he. And Sting <laughs> had a back case and neck. And then he threw Sting off the ropes, and his legs gave out. And, his, and, and it wasn't like a. It wasn't. It was legit. Yeah. It was. You could literally see Sting. His neck. It's just. It, it was like you could drag someone up from a wheelchair and help him to walk. Yeah, he literally just collapsed. And you're like, oh, and you could see Seth was like, pretty, oh pretty, no, pretty something's. Rough. They're like, something's really wrong. I don't really see wrong. That so they had to end the match earlier. I was like, Ooh, yeah, you're wow. like when you're watching it, you're like Sting. It's like he broke. Don't his watch neck. that match. Don't watch that match if you're a big Sting. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. Sting because fan. because the reason Sting didn't come into WWE for so long is because he saw how WWE buried every single like DDP, WCW yeah. Yeah. wrestler. Right, I'm like sick. all of them, all of them. Yeah, DDP was Undertaker's soccer. Yeah, and then right. Sarah beat him in a match. Yeah. I was such a big Sting fan. I watched his made for TNT 
movie oh, about yeah. him being like a photographer or Ooh. whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Christian thing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't follow. Moment that, of truth, that. right? Yeah, I didn't see it. That's the book, right? No, that's might, the movie. They made a movie. Yeah. Made, well, there's no. a newer movie. No, no. This, is, this was a Pre movie TNA? where he played. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, because TNA. Oh, okay. w, that's that's another one. That one. Yeah, this still WCW. Okay. He, he, oh, he was in a TNT movie, obviously, because Thunder was still on TNT. Right. Or was it Raw or not Nitro? Not Nitro, Nitro was on TNT. TNT? Yeah. It was TNT. Yes. Yeah. It was Thunder. Was yeah. Thunder. yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But he's he's playing like a, a fucking suave. Sexy fucking photographer. Was this before Crow's thing? No, this okay. was during Crow's oh, thing. <laughs> yeah, he's acting in a movie. But I'm such a fan. It's like we talked about Monster earlier. I'm such a fan of Christina Ricci. I went to saw Monster in theaters. That's kind of a rock. I watch him in anything. Yeah. So, yeah, the moment okay. of truth. You should you, you should, should watch. watch moment of truth. It's okay. so terrible. Yeah, it's fucking terrible because they try to they talk about Sting's career, but he's in TNA, so they're like. Oh, when he fought in WCW. Yeah, he's TNA. Footage. He's TNA. Yeah, oh. we might. I, we watched the Wrestling Regret review. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep, we watched yeah, the review yeah. in the moment. Yeah, of because yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's reenacting his own reenactments. <laughs> yep, drinking the beer, drinking the beer, staring in the oh, mirror. Yeah. He's like, I don't know how people are. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> he's just because because things standing there just drinking beer and staring into the <laughs> mirror. He's like this close to the mirror Sting. too. Yeah. Still love it. Eating pills and drinking beer. Um, he was great, too, you know. So, thing was. so we all... I got to okay, about so, that, but I'll tell you about so, that later. The Victory Road match? No. no. Um, so we have... That's disappointing. Which is one incredible. Of the yeah. Things in my life. Yeah. Um, so I have... I think it's going to be a fantastic match. I, right. I'm, yeah. I'm worried because who's going to carry the match? Roman has to. You think he can? I think he can. You think he can? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I that's what kind of worries me. Still feel he's kind of green. No, I don't think people no, give enough really. credit to that he wrestle. Yeah, but not, it's can. not that he can't wrestle. It's just I don't want to say that he. Look at that match with Braun Strowman. Braun yeah, Strowman didn't carry that. That's true. That's the only thing that. Okay, that's the only thing that's going to make me rethink this because I don't want to say he can't wrestle and that other wrestlers have carried him, but he's had a lot of good opponents. Not right, to take like anything Bryan, away from him, but like AJ he's Styles. AJ Styles. He's, but if you listen to any wrestlers' interviews, they talk about how fantastic he is and yeah. how much he's, he's also had great matches with Sheamus, right? And stuff um, like that. So it he can't. And then, and full disclosure, Dale loves Roman Reigns. By the way, I just want <laughs> really? you to know he loves Roman Reigns. I, do. I came in after all the bullshit. Okay, so he didn't I, get I to see the yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. what I explained to him. He's like, "Why does everybody hate Roman?" And I'm like, "Well, he pushed him immediately." Well, what happened to those fans, sparks? Fans just, if, if you don't hug their favorite wrestler, they're like, oh, everybody should be the world champion. Well, everybody can't be the Put world champion. Put it exactly like, basically... Uh, there's so many title belts now. Who gives a shit? Right. Well, basically, <laughs> it, it was a 2015 Royal, Royal Rumble that Roman won. They wanted Daniel Bryan to win it, because Daniel Bryan was their guy. Yes. But he was only at WrestleMania 30. Right. He got a limit. He wasn't even in the match. Right. And ever since then, they shit on him. Yeah, they, they took their guy's spot. They pretty right. much blamed Roman for something that WWE did. Right. Because Vince McMahon didn't they had like to use him as a scapegoat. Right. right. Just like they did. And half the fans have never gotten Just like there. they did with this past R Royal Rumble. The only reason that Randy Orton got over to the fans, like they cheered Randy Orton winning the Royal Rumble, only because he eliminated and Roman Reigns. They were smart with that. They knew. But I know, but that's, that's shit. That makes me it's like. shit for Roman. It's shit. And it's also for shit for me because, like, Oh, the only reason I care about you winning is because you eliminate a guy that I'm not supposed to like, or I don't like. Plus your two evils. It's like right. I said earlier, I'm a fan of whoever beats the Patriots. Say, right. plus your two evils. Right, which if you saw the Super Bowl, that's no one. Um, so, <laughs> five time, five time, five time, five time, five time you champions. Think University of Michigan. Yes. But, um, <laughs> I like Roman Reigns. I think he's a good wrestler. He can put on great matches, regardless of his opponent. I think that the hate for Roman Reigns is it's just, hard. it's just like, unwarranted. It, it is. He's John Cena 2.0. It's, it's just cool, cool yeah, to hate Roman exactly. Reigns. If you go on YouTube and you see the comments, the videos. Fuck Roman Reigns. And it's a fucking. He's it's, such a faggot. And they're talking about old school WCW. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, I love gold dust, though. Yeah. No, they're all <laughs> dead. He'll do the greater than, less than thing, because oh, yeah. I see it all the time, and it's always... The yeah. better than Roman Reigns. <laughs> it's always, yeah, it's always WCW is greater than <laughs> Roman Reigns. And I'm like, they yeah, didn't, they didn't mention <laughs> Roman Reigns, so why would you say WCW greater than Roman Reigns? Yeah. Or, Roman Reigns should just fucking kill himself. I'm like, yeah. seriously, you watch that yeah, match. So. You might something predetermined happen to him. You might <laughs> pretend that you don't like him, 
But you're going to watch that match because you hate him so much. Exactly. And you're going to be like, what's Roman going to do this week? Well, if, if you didn't care for him, you wouldn't you think wouldn't about watch. that. You wouldn't just watch. Wouldn't you wouldn't mind that he wins or loses. You're like, you wouldn't even boo. You'd just be fine. Because yeah. there is the roster, like we were talking about earlier, you said the roster's really good. It's stacked now. It is. There's good so, wrestlers. But see, the thing is, is, there's not really any standouts. And I think that's why everybody's a potential champion. Because right. I don't really that's see a, a great lot of Thing. Yeah, but it, it, it's like, good and no, bad. it's yeah. bad because but it's, it's no not like Dragon Ball Z where it's just this person, this person, this person. They're the strongest. No, they can't be beat. no, but they're but they're they're, the it's, fucking, it's not. It's not the trade titles. No, it's, it's not too even though. It's too even. There's no standards. There's no rock. There's no Stone Cold. It's not like they're. I don't want them to just force it because that's what they did with Roman Reigns. And that's why we hated him because they made him one of the top guys. I just think that there's no there's no there's stars. No guys. There's no superstars. Well, I there's think, no superstars with no middle guys. Right. There's just everybody's kind of on the same level. Because like you have like the Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, all of them, and then underneath them you have Curtis Axel, Bert Hawkins, yeah, e Primo yeah. Epico. There's no in between. Yeah. There's no mid card. Exactly. Yeah. They try to be, but they're all the same wrestlers. It's rotating. Right. That's why you have matches like um, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens for the U.S. title. Right. Or Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin, and Baron Corbin which are great. They're great. They're mid cars, but they're also Baron Corbin. He could be a world, Avengers. yeah, he could be a world champion. It's just it's they have to make the mid carters because they don't have one. Right. So there is there is a very big gap a big between, between top and, the and bottom. bottom. Now, here's here's what I was saying earlier about some of the the best wrestlers as far as like personality goes. They're the top. They get the fucking titles like The Rock, yeah. John Cena, Paul Hogan. But they're not the best people. wrestlers either. Right. But they but stand out the most. They exactly. stand out so because they have good characters. And that's the reason why I, I did never come back to watching wrestling. Because it seemed like everybody was Randy Orton. They're just this generic fucking that's, person. That's wrestling. That's how I feel about wrestling now. That's what I'm saying. They're all like wrestlers. I, I yeah, love wrestling. Characters. Yeah, but it's I, hard for me to get into because there's nobody. But who that's, I like, care. that's my point, though. There's yeah. no standouts. It's not like they force fed you Stone Cold. You love, love Stone, Stone Cold. Cold right? You, you wanted him characters. to be the champion forever. Exactly. You now love the Rock. Now every week you're like. Okay, oh, where's Sami Zayn gonna win a title? But then the, the Sami Zayn wins the title, and then the next week you're like. Oh, why doesn't Dolph, Dolph Ziggler beat Sami Zayn for the champion? You know, because everybody yeah. wants everybody to be the champion. And you that no if you if you ever heard of Razor Ramon or Mr. Perfect, DiBiase never won the world title. Right. Never. Wow. Never won the exactly. world title. Not in WWE, e, not no, WWE, not no. TNA, not WCW. They never won the world title. Wow. You never. Know Ricky Steamboat. Never Jake, Jake Roberts never won any title. Never. What? Not yeah. one title. Roddy Piper. Nope. Never won the world title. I think Roddy Piper is the IC champion. The final champion. Because he fought Bret Hart. Yeah. Never won. Owen Hart. Never won the world title. Right. You got guys that are... Greg like, Valentine. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah but still. Card, but but he was a part of that. He was, a, <laughs> he was huge then. But... Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, like, I like, like it to Greg the... Or, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Greg, Greg, Greg the Hammer. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had guys like, 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 like you said, Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon. Hall of Famers. Never won the world title. Yeah, never. Axel ever won a title? Axel, I don't think ever won. Axel won the, uh, he was the US title in US, WCW. He did. I was about to say that. Yep. Yeah. And because he gives a lot of shit. He actually... He also won the first Royal Rumble. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, uh, like a battle royal, right? Yeah. Was, was it a battle royal? They had the battle royal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you got guys that people put too much faith or emphasis on being a champion. Yeah. You don't have to be a champion to be the best wrestler. Exactly. If you're a mid-card champion... You make that belt bigger than the world title. You know what I mean? Like losing it constantly. But that's what I'm saying. They've, 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 they've been doing that for like 15 years. I hate this hot potato. That's that. why John Cena is a 16 time champion. Right. It took Ric Flair like 40 years to do that. <laughs> but a lot of people think the championship makes the man. Nope. Right. It's the other way around. Yeah. Right. That's you exactly earn it right. On your own. Because I didn't, I don't like the Universal title because I don't think Kevin Owens was a great champion. No. It only made sense. Chris Jericho was. Chris Jericho was. Undisputed. Right. Right. But uh, it, I like their feud because the only reason they kind of redeem themselves is because they acknowledge the fact that Kevin Owens is a champion for so long because of Chris Jericho. Exactly. He helped him out. But to me, that also makes Kevin Owens and the title look like shit. That's why yeah. Goldberg has really risen the He's brought the title. Right. And then Brock Lesnar. So exactly. when Brock Lesnar wins it, it's going to be a Can you imagine one. you have – okay, so either way – Goldberg or Brock Lesnar is going to be the champion after right. this night. Yes. Two part-timers. Not even that. So say that feud ends there. Yeah. You're the next guy, and they're like, 
And you got to wrestle Goldberg tonight for the champion. You're like, well, or Brock Lesnar. You're like, oh, I'm gonna die. So I think. Under, yeah. So I, yeah, so, yeah. Right. So I'm not winning, right? Yeah, four, four seconds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not Brock Lesnar, right? Because I don't want to take 14 suplexes. Please don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Just let me get speared and then Jack Henry. Let's, Let's get this over. I'll be fine. Go home. Um, I gotta, I'll hug Goldberg, Goldberg's kick forward. But, <laughs> but that see, that's what's cool about that match because that's giving the Universal title to Prestige. Right. And then you have to have those. Somebody has to come in and. So that, to me, and okay, I'll save this point for for at, for the match because it. I, yeah, I have, an, I have a, a great one. I think we we'll get to that match. Okay, so uh, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Reigns, all around Roman. Yeah, Roman. Okay. We all got Roman. Uh, I was saying, but... For the WWE Championship, yeah, let, me, let me comment on that real quick before we get into the story, the background, all that shit. Talking about the titles, right? Uh, WWE's really good. I've noticed when striking when the iron is lukewarm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> and they did very wide the title back in like February. When he was, when Such fan, a wasted opportunity. Right, when the fans were like, yeah, they should have gave it to him. They're going to give it to him like a year or two ago. Which they should have. White hot. He should have been the one that white beat hot. The Undertaker. Or never at all. Because Bray Wyatt's he, character doesn't really need the title. Yeah, we talked about this before. You know, he's he's kind of like so, the Jake Roberts. Yeah. Or the Mick Foley. They don't so need the championship. He's yeah. like, He's just scary on his own. And when he does the, when he does the back the arch walk. and the spider walk on his hands and feet, he's a big dude to be doing that. Yeah. I can't do that. Um, like, but, he doesn't need the title. He doesn't need championship. Yeah. And then when he did win the title, it was very predictable. Yeah. When he won an Elimination Chamber, you knew it was coming. Right. And then you got fucking Vanilla Ice Cream Orton's going to be wrestling <laughs> But so, I, I like Ray Norton as the wrestler. He's he's one he's, of the best technically sound wrestlers. He's become his I, wrestling matches have gotten really good. I just I'm not a fan of. I like his matches. I guess I can right. say I've seen very few botches in, in his career. Right, he's right. really smooth. Except but he's when he's not, killing legends, and they just can't take the RKO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's like the funny shit. It's like when Linda McMahon tried to take the stunner. So we're <laughs> with Donald Trump with the stunner. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which one is worse. We'll have to. We'll maybe we'll do a poll and I'll see something. The best stunner ever taken was Scott Hall. WrestleMania 19 when he backflips. Yeah, I like the one that the Rock was good too. Because the roll, they yeah. made him. They made that a move in the games. Oh, Remember yeah. when the Rock took the it and rolled up? He rolled up. I like the one that I like the one that that uh, that's because he was drunk. What was it last year that Rusev took? Oh yeah, or it was great. Rusev took an amazing stunner or a uh, uh, Triple H? It was years ago. Triple H took it. Like Austin, they clanked beers together. Austin, Triple H took the beers. He was wobbling with yeah. the beers, so did it again. I was like, he was wobbling with the beers for like so long. a minute. Stone Cold's just looking at him, and he's just because he took the first stunner, and he's just Triple H is just doing this, and Stone Cold's like, <laughs> and he's just trying to pose just right. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's why I'm, I would love to see house shows back then because oh, they yeah. they were so much fun. Right, because he did the same thing. It was like when when Triple H took that move, and then Shawn Michaels was like. Oh, yeah. He's got to hold him. Yeah, he's kind of standing there, and he's like, <laughs> fuck. Hey, Kevin Owens did a really, really good stunner, I want to say, to Roman Reigns at the Rumble. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was, really was fucking great. Austin, I actually saw on Twitter Austin comment on it. He's like, did he? I saw uh, Kevin Owens put a uh, dude a stunner. He's like, man, put some stank on that boy. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call him out. Yeah. That's he's why I like his awesome. podcast, because he's, really, he's really good with like telling people things, but he's like nice about it. Yeah. He's kind of like, hey, you should... It. I like what you're doing. He's really blunt, but he's not like He didn't mean. like John Cena's stunner. John Cena used to do a springboard stunner. Because it's ugly as fuck. Because the John Cena would... The first time he did it, he nailed it right at WrestleMania. Yeah, but then the Ever one he did to Kevin Owens was the ugliest thing. Because yeah. he's literally just standing there, and then he just runs away to like the corner, <laughs> springs, and then I'm like, that didn't make any sense. The first one against Rusev was like fluid, it was smooth, yeah. and nailed it. The one against good. Kevin Owens was just the yeah. ugliest. Yeah, because yeah, it's Kevin's fault. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fat fuck. Yeah. 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 Um, so Back going to the, the match, point, I think we're yeah. gonna do w, uh, WWE Championship match. Ray Wyatt, who is the champion, right. versus the, the Royal Rumble, Rumble winner, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, who who gave up his shot, he, he then won it player. back. Right. Which I did not it makes like. Makes sense. I because only because Randy it gave Orton AJ gave, Styles a reason to fight Shane. Well, not even that. Well, that too. Randy Orton gave up his shot because he wouldn't fight Ray Wyatt, who was his master. Mm -hmm. So Bray Wyatt gave him the keys to the kingdom, metaphorically and literally, which is literally, which is hilarious. Which is the keys to Sister Abigail's house. Thus, Randy Orton burnt down Sister Abigail's house. He made an arson on TV and got away with it. So, so Randy Orton happens. knew if he gave up his spot, he'd finally get to that compound. Yeah. And then he earned his spot back. Then he had to fight AJ Styles, and he's like, right. "Well, obviously, I'm going to be able to do this." Like Randy Orton is the 
best planner in the history of exactly. planning. But that's so ridiculous. But it's, I really was hoping that I would love to have seen. I would love to see AJ Styles fight Bray Wyatt. Yeah. I would love. Or to even see Luke Harper against Bray Wyatt in the twenty. And match. they just fought on SmackDown, and it was yeah. awesome. Has he ever fought the Undertaker? Bray Wyatt? Yeah, yeah he did. WrestleMania. That would be the longest intro It was Bray Wyatt came out with Scarecrows. It was pretty cool. It yeah. was awesome. Because, yeah. you know, he comes out with the lantern. Yeah. It's all dark. Yeah. Yeah. But he has, like, Scarecrows. It's kind of like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had, it was awesome. It was like the uh, like the World War Z clickers. Yeah, okay. The way they moved. It was yeah. Like, yeah. Great. Yeah, but the match itself was well, nice. Because during rehearsals, way, uh, Bray Wyatt broke his ankle. Oh, wow. So, Sounds like Luke. Like, well, yeah. we got we to continue this. And he still did the spider of yeah. and everything, which is incredible. But the contextually, why <laughs> Randy did everything, it makes sense. makes perfect sense. A little hokey, a little weird. Yeah, he sense. killed. He, he burned a body. I, yeah. <laughs> inside of a body. house. He burned a house that had a body inside of it. Yeah, yeah. So that's illegal, I'm pretty sure. Stuff. Pretty sure that's a... Sister Abigail, was, it, there's a rocking chair. It always rocks. Okay. You don't know why it's rocking. Well, it's because she's her bones are buried under that chair, which I think she is a. She gives what powers? I think it's a brilliant. I think for like a horror movie, that would have been awesome. Right. You're like, oh, that chair was somebody fucking buried under there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so, so then the Randy Orton gets the tells tell her. Yeah. yeah. So when he gets the keys to the kingdom, that's the house he was telling him about. Sister Abigail, she's buried in that house. So then Randy Orton on TV burns into the ground. The house. And like, that's a crime. You committed a I, crime. I, I saw it on that promo. Yeah, yeah. but then he her, stabs the ground and. It's all red. Well, because her bones are in there, right. and she's her like a spirit, spirit. right? Um, which it, so I can see. Uh, I got Randy Orton. Uh, I want Bray Wyatt to win, but I, I. What would be the What would be the point? What would What would you do with Randy Orton after that? Yeah, I got Randy Orton. Yeah. What would you do with? I Randy? guess he's technically the baby face. He is, which I don't think he's a very good baby face. Even though he committed arson, he's the baby face. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with Ray. All right, it'll yeah. Be so just to kind of, because yeah. I, I, I would like Ray to win, and it, to me, but then it's like, where do you go with Randy Orton after that? But when then, where do you go with Bray? Like he fights him again, but and then just got, Randy Orton becomes the champion. Like, Sister Abigail, what has it done to Bray Wyatt mentally? Because we don't know yet, really. Right, because like, right. broken him, has it made him stronger? Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out at WrestleMania. Right. Yeah, I think um, as as much as I would love Bray Wyatt to win, because I'm I'm a pretty big fan of his. I'm I'm not like completely sold on him, but I'm, I do I'm like, like his right. stuff. Yeah, he's. I, it's just the whole, I don't know, just the, they really missed their opportunity last year with him. And I think it really cooled, it cooled a lot of people on him. Um, so when he won the title, it was just kind of like, well, like course, okay, cool. of course he did. It's like when Goldberg beat um, Kevin, uh, Owens. Kevin Owens. You're like, well, of course he's going to yeah. beat him. I mean, if Kevin Owens beats him right now, then what's the point of him fighting Brock Lesnar? Exactly. Um, so uh, so it's, like it's, it's cool. I think Randy Orton will win. The, they'll have a little blow-off match. And then maybe it would be cool to see AJ Styles get put back into the AJ picture. AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Right, because he saved that RKO. That was sweet. He saved that one, yeah. and I think they he saved it so when they have a big match, it'll happen. It'll hit him with it. Spring He'll go board. for that like springboard. Uh, cocky. Oh my god! If he went for the springboard like four fifty, and he oh caught him in the god. RKO. That would be the greatest thing. <laughs> they might be AJ Styles. You know, I know it's that. it's AJ Styles though. I mean, I don't think he. There's, I don't think there's anything he can't do. That's, yeah, he can do it. He's he's wrestling. At an incredible rate, he's probably to me, I think he's the best in the world. Oh yeah, and he's a lot older than most of the people he's wrestling. Yeah. And uh, like Ray Wyatt, Wyatt in his own right, Ray right, Ray Wyatt's a is a pretty young dude. Yeah, he's in his thirties. Yeah, a lot of these guys are pretty young. Randy Orton's getting up there a little bit, yeah. but he he is in phenomenal shape too. But yeah. so uh, just to recap, I have Randy Orton winning the title. Oh, sorry, you Randy have Randy Orton. Orton winning the title, and you have Ray Wyatt. I think I'm letting my feelings interfere with that one. I fucking hate Randy. Orton. I do too. I do too. I don't want him to win, but to me, it's just and Bray Wyatt's just intriguing. He's really cool. Yeah. So I mean, fine. You could be right. You WWE doesn't care about people, so you could yeah. be right. The funniest thing I ever saw about Wyatt family, which is weird, because funny and Wyatt. So that's right. like the opposite. They were at the New York Stock Exchange. They rang the opening bell. They did. What? Yeah. <laughs> He should have rang the bell, and then the light should have went <laughs> off, and then he should have walked out. I was like, "This is weird." Um, okay, so okay. then the main event, which possibly boom, maybe I I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the Fuck. match, but I do. I don't think like it should Goldberg be the main event. Win in less than a minute forty-five. See, the thing Unless is, is win. the only reason I'm worried about this being the main event is if it's short. Well, this, I'm worried because I don't want it to be a repeat of SummerSlam. When Brock Lesnar fought Randy Orton in the main oh, event, the and then event? he just kind of knocked him out, that made him it. bleed the hard way, and then they just stopped the match, and yeah. that's the main event. And I'm like, 
That's one of the big four they did it at. So that's what I'm worried about. I think this will be a Smash Mouth hard hitting match. It probably won't go that long. It Maybe that's what we should have done our thing on how long the match is going to be for our tiebreaker. But let's just add yeah. it in. Let's okay. add it in just for an extra. Yeah. Just to say, you got an extra point if you get anywhere within the time. Who's closest to the time? Well, my guess is Brock Lesnar is going to win. Brock Lesnar is going to win? Yeah. I do not think Goldberg will win. This will probably be his last match. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll get a. I don't think they'll get a another match on Raw. I think this is just pretty much going to blow off. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, Brock Lesnar sent Goldberg packing. Right, and then that's it. Season's yeah. over. Right. Um, Fresh start tomorrow. I do night. believe that Brock Lesnar will become the Universal Champion. Yes. I'm not very excited about that, though. I'm not. I love Goldberg. I don't want either of them to be the champion because it really takes away from everybody else. But but it makes the U.S. The universe title more prestigious. Exactly, because you have to beat the guy that beats Brock Lesnar. Yeah, if yeah. Brock Lesnar wins that title, it's like he's got Mr. Green, man. See, I think, he's got a struggle hold on. I think like that... Hogan. I think he could, and even if they're talking about what they're talking about, him fighting Roman Reigns next year, he could hold it for a year. He could. He could hold it till next year. Yeah. He, could you? It would it would Ross too stacked, though. It makes sense. Ross really stacked. Yeah, what do you do with Samoa Joe? You could totally build feuds without the world title. Yeah, but what it's... What was the last... Well, yeah, but the guy feud. that only shows up once a month... That's fine. ...maybe is your champion. You can't create, really build off of that. For number one contenders. For and when then maybe he up. comes in and... Yeah, but then I don't... I guess it does add prestige because you got to think like in, in the old like people, I don't want people to the mid card. Well, like with well. the old territory days when the NWA World Champion would come into town, right? You'd get your best wrestler or exactly. your champion and you'd fight him. So it'd be cool to see him kind of. That's why I wish they would let them do more to see Brock Lesnar going into like another fed. You know what cool. I mean? To see him like defending his title in ROH. Yeah. Could you imagine if you show up in ROH? That Jesus. Oh my God! The place it would just be nothing. They could, they could all be their little indie darling douchebags. If you see Brock cool. Lesnar, you're gonna shit your fucking pants. If you hear real American, Hulk Hogan, you're gonna jizz. Right. Okay. If people can talk. You are. Yeah. People can talk shit about Hulk Hogan. There's, there's and, a lot of speculation that he's gonna show up at some point. Like yeah, he said that he's, he's not gonna, but I think just that's open the stories right. There, and tweet you know? said he's not going. Yeah. So he's going. Which means he's going. Right. Because, Sorry, brother. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what about you? What uh, you got? Goldberg in a minute 40 or less. I say Hulk Hogan's going to win it and come back. <laughs> yes! What's going to happen is Brock Lesnar's going to win it, and then Hulk Hogan's going to do like, like he did a Bret Hart. Yep, he's going to come out with his black eye, and he's going to be like, you're going to fight me, right? Yep. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I win. Like, drop. Got it. I was in a tag match with Brutus Barber Beefcake earlier. You love it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my black eye. But yeah, I got I got Brock Lesnar in less than. Uh, ooh, it's tough. This is a a possible WrestleMania main event. You yes. think it's gonna be less than two? Less minutes. than two minutes. For a main event, okay. If they're going away, the goal is being. If I were you, and that happens, you better riot. Under these, <laughs> you better riot. I know you're gonna be tired from the forty-seven fucking shows that well, you're going you to. Like, we're gonna be up top. Okay. But still, you better time. fucking riot. You better start pulling people and throwing them down. <laughs> Throwing them down those stairs. If he wins well, in less would, than two minutes. I would minutes, rather see a two minute hard hitting fast yeah, beat absolutely. Down than you, a ten minute yeah, sluggish but a, thing. One side of yeah. I'd, I'd rather it be the Because like two minutes, the, the luster, the appeal is still there. Ten minutes, it kind but of they did that. They did it in happen. a minute and 30 or whatever. A minute 24. I, I they did that already though. So and they only got in three moves. But you reverse it. Brock Lesnar squashes them. But, why but I think, yeah. I don't now, know what why. Now what if, why? Okay, now here's what I got. You start off the match, the entrance is whatever. Bell rings, Goldberg goes for a spear. Brock Lesnar has, has been speared many times. He just Lesnar got speared on the wrong. Counters it. Picks F5. him up and hits the F5. Done. And then beats and it. And that's it. I, I think I Goldberg think should would kick. I think it would kick one F5. You I think, think so. Goldberg should <laughs> kick out. Really? Because Goldberg. It's the only person I think that's in wrestling now. Who could kick out of the that F5. That could kick out of the F5, right. Because. How many, though? Because. Two. Just two. five second down? Uh, uh, two in a row, but I hate that yeah, kind of wrestling. Yeah. Because John Cena beat AJ Styles like that, and I hate it. But that, that second, the way he got that second AA was pretty good. It was, roll through. he rolled through it, it was cool. Plus it was but a I, super AA, the first one. Right, but I so, still was kind of like, I don't, yeah. to me that's just lazy. Or if he takes the F5, he doesn't pit him, but he picks him up again for another one. Or he goes to the F5, and, and then, then he, he gets speared. Reverses and jack He lands on his feet and spears him. Yeah. And then I'm you go with, from there, because you got... Because yeah, that maybe five and a spear. Okay, because that could be good. Because yes. what, well, except for the F five, it was what could happen is he could go for like the spear, miss, so he's like dazed. He goes to the F five and maybe lands on his feet and then hits him with a spear, so they're both kind of down. Maybe. So you're close you, to him at that point to hit him with it. But he could just drill yeah. him in. He's Goldberg. Just, just drill, drill him into the fucking yes. ground. Superhero. Or kick him. Do the kick that he kick him in the dick. Kick, do the kick that he end Bret Hart's career. Wow. With. 
He did. I know. So do that mule kick. Bam! That was a groin injury that ended Bret Hart's No, his concussion, concussion that. Yeah. Concussion that stroke. Concussion that he got stroke. He was gone for so fucking long. Well, because the. Groin pull. Yeah, but. Oh, trust me. It's it's a horrible <laughs> feeling. I pulled my groin muscle. It feels like your balls I'll are being kicked. I pulled my groin kicked. every morning. Yeah. Oh, my God. But a groin pull feels like your balls it's are being bad. kicked like 24 hours a day. It's Ooh. horrible. Right. Um. It's horrible. I, really that's not what that I, had, I, I, I thought I had like I thought I had like testicular cancer. I was like, this is not normal. I'm gonna die. Yeah, so I gotta go to the hospital and get a in a uh, what's it called? The, like, a, uh, like a nut cast? No, they did a uh, an ultrasound on my balls. It's the most <laughs> embarrassing thing you'll ever have done to you, especially Sounds, especially when the ladies like, no is it twins stuff? It's not because the ladies like little gel. Yeah, and the ladies like. Here's a towel. Now, you're going to want to put your testicles up onto this towel. <laughs> you're just sitting there with your balls all sticking out, and I'm just laying there like... Da, 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 da. That's cool. And then she's just like... Was she hot? She was. And I'm sitting there, and Caitlin's sitting next to me, and I'm just like... <laughs> I literally sat there like this. Why, why? I was so I mean, embarrassed. My sack is sitting on a towel. But why did you like, have to have this looked at? Because I was in pain. Well, I pulled my groin, but they didn't oh, know okay. what it was, so they had to make sure I didn't have cancer. Because it's Tuesday. Yeah, they wanted to make sure I didn't shed it, man. You know, it sounds like Jesus. I was just like, hey, can I put my sack on this towel? Does <laughs> <laughs> it look like a warm towel? Yes. Yeah. Get rid of it. It was just a towel. It was a towel, towel, and she globbed that shit on. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> it was not good. It's a. It was this attractive she woman. She wasn't rough with it, was she? No. Oh, no. It 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 it's this oh, attractive God. woman. You're literally just sitting there with. You. The only thing exposed is your <laughs> sack. No, that was Margaret not going to be. I was so old. embarrassed I didn't even watch it. I was like, let's just skip it. And she was just doing it forever. And it, I'm telling you, she's just like, put your testicles on this towel. <laughs> it's not like your legs are even showing. Your balls are just out there. <laughs> <laughs> your pants and then she just like, your balls out. <laughs> Did you at least pull them out of the hole in your boxers? And were you well, like, no, I had to. You child. take your. No, you, you know, so you had I had to take on. my. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you had the okay. gown on, but still, I, you I've pull. been in the hospital so many times the last yeah. few years. I keep my pants on every fucking yeah. time. I never just. Yeah, but then you pull. What am I going to do? that. Dip my balls Let me go take a shower so they stretch real quick. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so this is how exciting this match is. They were talking about my sack. Um, I'm really excited. I got Brock Lesnar. I got Brock Lesnar. What time, though? Brock Lesnar in, in a... 140. 140. Jesus. It's going to be a 10-minute match. That's that's giving him the benefit of the doubt, in my opinion. I, I think a minute... It's too quick. After I seeing him so. crush Brock Lesnar, then Kevin Owens... You think it's just only... It's just it's only, he's there to do nothing but squash people. So you think that Brock Lesnar will squash, squash him? And, yeah. But I, I, that's the thing is, I don't understand. Who like, is going to win? Goldberg. Go, you said Goldberg's going to win. Wow. Okay. Really? Okay, I think Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. Minute 40 or less. I'll I say think, Brock Lesnar. God, he freaks me out every but like, I think they're going to have a 10-minute match because with Brock Lesnar, he can be really slow and methodical. Right. So if he picks you up, well, Goldberg will let him. But, he, but I'm saying, though, say he misses that move, say he hits the F5 yeah. or whatever, and then he kicks out. And then he just takes over his grounds and pounds just, him. Yeah, or he takes him to Suplex City. Yeah, yeah. And if you just pick him up and suplex him, you can sit there and pose, kill a minute. There you go. Pick him up, suplex him again, do whatever, kill another minute. I just think don't make it like their first match. That's right. All. It was all like rest holds and stuff. But yeah, I'm but I'm thinking the they first time good. he like Germans Goldberg, people would be like, Goldberg's, Goldberg's down. Off Goldberg's down, yeah. right. I think it'll be a ten minute match, especially if it's the main event. Um, yeah, with that, entrances that, that and everything. That also depends on where the placement on the card. Like, if it's the main event, I do agree it'll be longer. It'll be longer. If it's not, it'll be... If watch. it's not... Okay. If we'll it's, be able to tell by the time it match starts. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think if it's not main event, five minutes. I was going to say five minutes. minutes. I would say if five minutes, probably regardless. Main if event they're the main event, I think ten. I think the match itself is ten. Everything all together, it'll probably be about 20 minutes or so. Entrances give them the long time for their entrance. Wow. We'll give Goldberg's, yeah. the Goldberg's entrance well, is... I have seen the Goldberg, ramp, yeah, and like then he ramp. has to walk from his yeah, locker room. The like 200 yeah. yards. Yeah. Wow. Plus, yeah. it is amazing. It's, 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 it's amazing. The football field is the the It's amazing. And it's then, take Undertaker three days to walk there. <laughs> but then you also have to think, Goldberg's coming out of his locker room. Which is on the other side of the arena. So he's going to come around, they're going to be like driving him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 he's just sitting yeah. in the back of the cart. Yeah, put him in the the, the ring cart. That, oh yeah, uh, Andre the Giant. Yeah, 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 no, uh, but he's just in a golf cart sitting there. <laughs> burr, 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 <laughs> there's smoke coming out of the golf <laughs> cart. He's driving, but that's just in the back. No, he's <laughs> not like the little roller coaster, a little kitty coaster. <laughs> but it's the slowest coaster ever. <laughs> Stop the coaster. <laughs> I gotta get out. <laughs> 
Quinn, which is still the coolest thing ever. Oh, it's one of the best entries. Yeah. You're so lucky you can see goddamn Goldberg. I, know, um, I never thought I'd get to see Goldberg live. In a oh, WrestleMania. Right? Yeah, that's, that trumps it. In 2017! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, just want, I just want everybody to realize this, that Goldberg it's is the world adventure. champion. Yeah. Of the universal champion. In 2017, in a major wrestling promotion, not right. like some backyard indie fan. Yeah, it's not like you're, it's not like it's like Chikara yeah, on it's like a joke. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. It's not like he's the Juggalo Championship wrestling. <laughs> he's the WWE Universal Champion. Right, he has the most prestigious title. Um, so I have total probably 20 minutes with entrances and everything. Match if it's if it's not main event five. If it's main so event ten. If it's not main event, what will be? That's the question. Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. The only so. reason because the Royal Rumble winner fights at the main event for the title. That's the rule. That's always been the thing. Right. You that's fight. Why the Royal Rumble exists. Right. But then There's having been a lot of years that hasn't happened. I know, but that doesn't make sense. That's the whole I know, point. I don't think that'll happen because a lot of casual fans who just watch WrestleMania don't know who Bray Wyatt is. Right. You. I don't it's think that would happen. be. I'm just learning. Away. Just exactly. to, but just to me though, it should be. What I've will known be? For a while, but not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What? Okay, that should be I the think, main event. I think if it's not the main event, I think Triple H, Seth Rollins. I think Undertaker, Roman Reigns. I don't think, though, because if Roman, Roman Reigns wins, wins and at the, the end of the show, the oh, my. but that's the best part. Just go back to the heel thing. Without Man, driving home would probably be one of the most destructive things you could do because everybody around you wants to kill them. Oh, just so you know, yeah. <laughs> get very comfortable when you're going to be leaving the show. Oh, we'll be there you're not getting out. Yeah. yeah, when we got into the parking lot, we literally sat there for about an hour. Oh, it's yeah. not like a hockey game where it's like, all right, it's four to nothing. I'm going to leave it. And park don't park in anybody's yards. Don't park far away. Don't park in anybody's yards. You're going to have a lot of people that are holding signs that say, $5 parking. That arena is surrounded by a lower income neighborhoods. It's oh, good. very some of the places are pretty shady. But there's all there's free the parking. Garage. So the parking garage there is a there's a outside parking and it's right. free. Okay. Um, which is really cool. Um because we're gonna leave here at like eight in the morning. Sunday. Yeah, oh you should to get parking. Yeah, oh my god. And then but you can see all the pre Yeah, and the broken tug it starts at ten. Right. And then you get all even after that, you so, just yeah. you could just go to the arena after that and there's gonna be stuff oh, yeah. everywhere. You know what I mean? Outside the arena they're gonna do all the little you know, they'll probably have it's all like the merchandise. Merchandise. Right. But then Okay, so oh, yeah. okay that's, so that's not the main event I think Seth Rollins Triple H will <sighs> really I don't you want know. to send the crowd home happy Seth Rollins winning would do that. Yeah. You know they could have John Cena and Nikki Bella as the main event. <laughs> For a proposal. <laughs> then we can be like, he said yes. Boom. <laughs> right, John Cena sucks. Yeah, exactly. Um, but if it's not the main event, Seth Rollins will. But so I think you got Goldberg. Mm -hmm. I got Leslie. In and less I, than five minutes. That would be. I know you guys know a lot more of the background. No, shit but than I do. still, hey, it would be crazy though. Yeah, if he did, I would love it. I would not hate it. I only I, would hate it because he is a less of a part timer than Brock Lesnar. I just you build the credibility of him as a machine being the universal champion, squashing Brock Lesnar. Right. Why would you put them up against each other that soon after he squashes him? And then well, have see, Brock Lesnar like if Brock Lesnar takes the offensive, if that loses makes Goldberg lose all credibility for the squash. Well, see, the thing is, is I would agree with you. I, I would agree with you only if Goldberg beat Brock Lesnar in November. He did beat Brock Lesnar in November. That's six months ago. So yeah. it's not like he's just coming back. But he's also he also but you built him up. Watching everybody else. He only he's, he's only had. Well, he's also eliminated. Well, he had the he had the Royal Rumble, and then he got. But yeah. I'm, I would agree with you if they did that, and it was only like a two month build, and then you're just like he beat him only two months ago. Why would you? But, but November is a long time ago in wrestling the world. Royal Rumble. Right. And he, every time Brock Lesnar Goldberg has been in the ring, minus that one F5, Goldberg has always had Lesnar's number. He, and, always speared him. And if you're going by what I generally think is, is who's over on Raw or SmackDown, the, the, the pay -per -view loses at the pay-per-view. That's how I've always thought of it. Right. It, it so happens. So Goldberg speared Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar. And then the show ends. He's going to counter a spear to an F5. Yeah, or he'll take the spear, and then I would like to see him kick out of the jackhammer. That'll never happen. I don't think I've ever seen... I, Hulk Hogan happen. hasn't done it. I don't even think Triple H has done it. Nobody's... I don't think anybody's done it. I don't think he's hit that move and somebody's kicked out, which would be a cool statistic if we can find that out. It'd be awesome if anybody's ever kicked out. Um, would be cool if Brock Lesnar could counter the spear into the Kimura lock he used to do. That arm bar. Yeah. Sweet. So, cap so out, right? I got him. Yeah, I got him in... So, you got him in two, five, him in five, ten. Yeah. Okay. And then you got Goldberg. Yeah. You got Brock Lesnar. I have Brock Lesnar. 
Okay, so for our picks, let's just do wow. Um, let's just do a quick recap. Okay. Uh, Andre the Giant. I got Braun Strowman. Yeah. Braun Strowman. Tails got Big Show. Okay. Cruiserweight. I have Austin Aries. Neville. 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 Cool. Uh, women's Championship. I have Naomi. He has Naomi. Oh. Yeah. Yes. The, yes. the black chick. Yep. Right. Yes. Naomi. Yes. All of us agree on Naomi. I think it's the only one I think we agree on. I think All so. three of us. Yeah. Um, uh, the tag team triple threat ladder match. You have Gallows and Anderson. And Dale and I have Enzo and Cass. Yeah, Hardy show up. We all agree Hardy's going to win. The Hardy's going to win. Right. right. Which, it, But I would not be happy about that. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't be happy because I, I win, some... but I'm also kind of like, come on, there's like, come on, Enzo I, I and Cass, give it to yeah. them. Or Sheamus and Zaro again. Sure. Um, Dean Ambrose, uh, Baron Corbin. Baron I have Baron Corbin. Corbin. You have Baron Corbin and Ambrose. You have Ambrose. Okay. okay. Um, Kevin Owens and Jericho. I have Owens. I have Owens, I believe. Oh, that's the one we weren't sure of because of the Raw we were thinking about. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, well, this will be our final pick. So this is what's going to determine the thing. Uh, I got Owens. I got Owens. Okay. What do you got? Owens or Jericho? Uh, it's tough. Yeah, this, this one. The Raw thing, too. The Raw thing would change it. That's the yeah, only thing I'm kind of worried about. Win. And then just lose on the Raw and then yeah. leave. And kind of give his goodbye speech at Raw. Because yeah. he won't get a chance to do it at WrestleMania, no. I don't think. Because there's too much going on. Um, Shit, that's tough. I if know. that happens, I'm going to be so mad. I'll be happy, but I'll be mad. I'll fill it for you. I've gone with a lot of the champions in this. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to watch it the next day on Hulu. <laughs> I think I've sided with every champion. So you're going with Jericho? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, and then the women's match. Uh, Nia Jax, Sasha, Charlotte, and Bailey. Sasha. You have Sasha. You have Sasha, but then you have... Uh, your list is Nia, Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha wins. In order of eliminations. Yes. And those are the eliminations. Yes. I have Nia. Uh, Sa- I have Nia not winning. Okay. I have my. Well, these are my elimination order. Sorry, Nia, Sasha, Bailey with Charlotte winning the title. Okay. You had Nia, Nia Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey. and then you had yeah, Bailey you defending. So you did. Title. Yeah. So you okay. do. You do have all the champions. Yeah. Um, John I Cena. Need John Cena and Nikki <laughs> Bella versus Miz and Maurice. I have John Cena and be- it's just Yeah. I can't see how the Miz and Maurice I'm gonna go with the Miz. Yeah? Yeah. Is that cause is that just like your one like different You know way. you're wrong, but yeah. you're gonna be, you know what I mean? Like that's the one where like I really wanna say the Miz, yeah. but I know it's not gonna happen. I'm, I'm there are I do have one pick where I pick the guy title. I think that uh yeah. I want to win and I'm like he's gonna fucking win. Fuck you if he doesn't. Um, and then you sure have I said the Miz on that. Miz and Maurice, and I had so I was the only one that picked John Cena. Wow. Um, Shane and AJ. We AJ. all went with AJ. We all went yeah. with AJ. Okay, so that's the other one that we all had. Um, Triple H, Seth Rollins, Rollins, and their non-sanctioned match. You have Rollins via shenanigans with yeah, Smojo, Smojo, and Mick Foley. I have Rollins because it's just he, he needs his uh, WrestleMania. Right. He needs his moment. He, Triple H winning literally does nothing for no, right. anybody. You have Triple H. You have Triple H because he loves his Triple H. Yes. Uh, yeah. Undertaker and Roman Reigns. I have Roman Reigns. Roman. Well, I have Roman. Wow. That's three. Bray yeah. Wyatt, Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Bray Randy, Orton. Randy Orton. So I have Randy. Troy has Randy. Dale has just, Bray. That's, that's where my feelings are coming through the strongest because I You picked literally picked every champion important. I didn't mean for that. You literally did, though. Did. Hey, could you imagine every champion defended? That, that would be crazy. crazy. It'd be the first Shit, time I'm ever. So it would be the first time. <laughs> no changing eight, of, of title eight titles. None no change hands. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Uh, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. I have uh, Brock Lesnar in ten. I have Brock Lesnar in five. You have Goldberg in, like, two. two. Okay. Jesus wow. Christ. This is going to be a hell of a show. This is why I like WrestleMania. This is actually a WrestleMania that I am really looking yeah. forward to. Every match has potential. Potential, right. I don't think there's one match save... Maybe the that, Battle Royal. Maybe the tag match. Which one? The, this, the, the, the mixed tag. intergender. Just because... Yeah, this will be good. It'll be good because like when the, I think the big CD moment... Will, go. Right, and then watching Maurice and everything. Yeah. I think that'll be a big moment when Nikki beats Plus her Miz up. Entrance will be cool. Right, and then if the Miz and Maurice win, it would be fantastic. Yeah. I don't think they're going to. And then, would be um, cool if John Cena and Nikki won and as Johnny Cena was proposing, Miz and Maurice attacked him? Yeah. That's going to happen. Jesus cool. Christ, that's going to happen. I know. All right, and thanks for tuning in to our WrestleMania 33 predictions. From Troy and Dale, I'm Jason at the Squared Circle Podcast. Thanks for tuning in, enjoy your day, and have a great WrestleMania.